welcome everybody to our wonderful podcast. We are back and I am joined by the fabulous people we have. Epic Potato Chip, who is joining us as a special guest. We have Chadley, our usual now. We have Mr. Corey, who's also going to be our usual. Hello. We have special guest here, Crispy Plays as well. Hello, guys. And our, uh, our last but certainly not least, our normal person who's going to be joining us from now on. Normal. Retro for the first time. <laughs> normal. Hey, normal. Guys. <laughs> <laughs> How's it going, guys? I hope everybody's doing well. I hope everybody's doing great. So... We are here. E3 is officially done. It's passed. Um, I mean, <laughs> it was something. <laughs> yeah, something. It, it was. was it, something. it was definitely something. A um, lot of disappointments. A lot of uh, a lot of great news. It was a mix of everything. So, um, you know what? Let's just jump on ahead. Let's start with Xbox conference. Um, there was a lot of news. A lot of things shown. And you know what? What do you guys think? Like we got hit with Halo Five. But it was more like a little teaser. What do you guys think? For the teaser, it was pretty yeah. good. I'm not that much of an Xbox fan, but this game actually got me kind of excited. <laughs> kind of a little bit. <laughs> I, uh, I, I, I only liked the first Halo. That was the only one that I was really into. I thought yeah. the, the gameplay was really fun because I liked the, the story, right? So seeing that it looks like it's in the first Halo again, I'm, I'm really interested to see what they do with it because if it's based in the first world, I totally want to play it. Yeah. Um, I don't for know. sure, for sure. Can Definitely. everybody hear us? Because I know that Megan I'm says not... she can't hear. I don't know. Yeah, I'm just looking now that she says she can't hear. Yeah, yeah, the voices, the voices are super quiet, apparently. I just turned it up right now. Okay, okay guys, can you guys hear us better now? Yeah. Is Do we sound better? Louie and Epic were very quiet, according to well, Steph. I, I hadn't said anything yet. <laughs> <laughs> Crispy was low. <laughs> Megan can hear Rigo. Uh, well, yeah. yeah. Is it better yeah, now, cool. though? Are we good I'll, now? I'll say something, too, so that everyone can hear me. <laughs> because, you know, Chadley did so much it talking speaks. last time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, 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 I promise to talk a little bit more this time. <laughs> it's okay, Senpai. I'm sounds right better now. Okay, okay sounds better. Little, little, I, I turned it up. Full blown, yes. Okay, perfect. It's awesome. better. Okay, perfect. Good, good, good. I just turned it up right now. <laughs> By the way, I'm super rude to our all our viewers. I can't say ho hello to all of you, but hello, Stevie. Hello, Nighthawk. Hello, Sam. Ryan, what's up, buddy? How's it going? Glocks, Emma, what's up? How's it going? Epic Potato Chip, how are you? Hello, Steph, what's up? How you doing? Kellen, how are you? XD, what's up? Oh, man, there's a lot of people here. The Gaming Flower, hello. Hello, Bobby. Okay, I think that's everybody. <laughs> Rigo, aren't you going to tell them the list? You didn't say hello to man, man. Jeez. Oh, that reminds me, guys. Uh, so I made a list for all of you of what exactly we're going to talk because it's very important that everybody knows exactly what we're talking about and how we're going to talk about it. Give me one second here. Let me uh, see. Rigo, you're, you're lower than us now, apparently. <laughs> I just kind of like it. It's oh, <laughs> Megan. I say hey to you. Even though, even though Rigo won't say hi to Megan, everyone else but Megan. Hi, Megan. Hi, Megan. Hi, Megan. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so here's the list, guys, of today's topics. Um, let's go ahead and let me open it up here. Okay, first thing on the board. Here we go. Number one, Resident Evil. <laughs> Number two, how awesome is Resident Evil 2 Remake look? <laughs> Number three, who's excited for Resident Evil 2 Remake? <laughs> Number four, how awesome is it that Resident Evil 2 Remake comes out in January? Number five, how better is Resident Evil 2 Remake than Smash Bros? <laughs> Number six, who thinks that Resident Evil 2 Remake is beautiful? Number seven, how about we talk about Resident Evil and forget about everybody else? And number eight, Chadley's beard. <laughs> Perfect. Those are awesome conversation topics. Great topics. Yeah, there it is. There's a topic of the day. <laughs> that, that'll fill our two hours really, really easily. Yeah, yeah right? five minutes exactly. of resonating on, on Chadley's beard. <laughs> so, but yeah, so it looks like Halo, Halo 5, that little uh, teaser got people all wrapped up and everything. I don't know what to say because it was like an, an outside view. You didn't really see much. It was just him standing there in the car driving by. Well, not the car, but. What do you call it? The whatever the warhog. That, yeah, warhog, driving by. There was really not much to see. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, it's it's <laughs> nice to know something's in the works. Hopefully, it's not a big flop like the last one was. We'll see what happens though. 
right? I like exactly. the last only. Xbox really <laughs> needed something to show off at E3. I think they pretty much did it with Halo because everybody was anticipating a Halo 6 for, a, for Microsoft to show off. And, well, there we have it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Okay, <laughs> so um, Gears of War 5. That was showing yeah. that trailer. What do you guys think? I, I can't mean, wait for the little MOBA, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, because they, they announced a couple of spinoff games, too, while they were at it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they did. They did, the, yeah. The gear pop. Oh, man, did you guys hear the audience when that popped up? That was hysterical when it was, like, the Gears of War symbol. <laughs> And then the gear, the, the pop people pop up, and everyone's like, "Oh, <laughs> it's totally like it's gears, it's totally gears," and it wasn't. And then it was, and then they were all super shocked. It was awesome. They got slapped in the face. Hey, Stan, <laughs> dude, I played with you, and my name is. Ter oh, okay. Hello. <laughs> How's it going? <laughs> wow. wow! Don't yell. Okay, which which beard would win? Oh. They're asking hmm. Chadley versus Ryukar. Which beard would win? Oh, Chadley. Oh, go Chadley. Oh, the gloves are coming off. Yeah, that's, not the, that's not the first time his beard has been brought up in the conversation. <laughs> <laughs> For the family, thank you for subscribing. <laughs> that's funny. Yeah, well, new sub. <laughs> right? New subs here. Well, no, um, I don't know. Like, I, I enjoyed number four. It wasn't, I never mm -hmm. finished it, to be honest. I can't say that I did finish oh. it. Um, but I, I enjoyed it. But I kind of, I hope they go back to what Gears was like. I remember number one was dark. It was heavy and, and very like the co-op play was amazing. So yeah. I'm hoping that number five goes back to that type of feel. That's usually how good games start off. I mean, take Dragon Age, for example. You had Origins, which was really dark, story heavy. Then you had two, which was meh. Yeah, yeah we don't talk Origins, about two. Meh. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. We don't talk about two. Then you had Inquisition or three. Which was a bit better, but still not. I like the oh, same feel. Alana I would not be watching. Alana is like obsessed with with Inquisition. My girlfriend, she's obsessed with Inquisition. I, I, I like I, Inquisition. I honestly <laughs> loved it. It's a lot better than two. But... I never played two, but it's just a show of that first uh, games that start off as dark and good and story heavy mm -hmm. can turn out a bit, a little more. Eh. Yeah, it, right. seemed, it seems like they start off with, like, I want to tell this awesome story, and then they start selling out towards what's going to sell more games rather than my story yeah. that I want yeah, to tell. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for exactly. sure. For sure. Okay. Um, okay. Shadow died twice. We saw that on the Xbox. Oh. It looked amazing. We're talking about Japanese feel. It has that feel of, um, of Dark Souls, and it's from, it's from From Software. So... It looks like it's going to be heavy duty boss base, just like Dark Souls. Uh, did you guys see the trailer for that? I when did not. Guys not what? <laughs> I heard about it, but I didn't oh, see it. I'm so disappointed. <laughs> oh, that game looks amazing. I'm, I'm a huge Dark Souls fan, though. So for me, it's, it looks like Dark Souls with like super speed, because like, you have a grappling <laughs> hook that you can like fly across the world with. So it's going to like speed up the motion way more. But it looks hmm. like it still has the gigantic bosses that you fight in Dark Souls and everything. So I think it looks cool. Yeah. I mean Definitely. I like the Japanese feel to it. <laughs> that that's what I enjoyed. The the Japanese feel. Um it seems like we're going because we go it looks like every year they go through this like era type thing. We had the zombies, we had, you know, the knights, and now it looks like they want to go to that Japanese area. We we're getting a lot of Japanese feel games, you know? Mm -hmm. And that's what I feel. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Maybe that's just me, but that's how it feels. But the, definitely, the trailer was shown, and I was kind of blown. I was definitely blown out of the water. Yeah, it looked it looked really nice. It had really nice graphics. It did. It did. You know, and kind of it, it wanted me to play more because, I mean, you only see the trailer where the guy gets his arm chopped off, and then he has this wooden arm that all of a sudden works. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know. But yeah, yeah no. I, so I guess you guys didn't see it either. <laughs> <laughs> you know. That's okay. That's okay. All right. Jump Force. Okay. That's hey. one I have nothing to say about. <laughs> so, <laughs> I like the concept, but I don't think I'll play it. Well, I'm definitely not going to play it. So, when you say you like the concept, did you ever play, um, what was the other one called? Uh, jump Stars or whatever? Is that what it was? I think it was. It was where they had a bunch of the Shonen Jump characters yeah. all together in one battle. It's a, yeah. it's a, I, I feel like it's, it's kind of like the next evolution of that. Okay. Um, yeah. <laughs> Goku. All they did was pretty much just throw it in real life towns. Like you could be in New York City and actually yeah. like see the fight happen. And, and I don't know, it has a very limited appeal to someone who has, you know, just someone who has a background in anime doing a lot of stuff like that. 
I, I can relate to it. I'm like, oh yeah, I would love to fight with someone as Goku or like, yeah. or like Frieza. But at the same time, depending on the fighting style of the game, it seems like it's almost going to be like a DBZ kind of game. Okay. And yeah. Yeah. I don't. I don't. I don't know if that's going to work because I want to see them bring something new since it's going to be something that squished. Because each each franchise has their own games. Naruto has their own games. Uh, One mm-hmm. Piece has their own games. They need to be able to adapt those three kinds of games into that kind of fighting style because each of them have their own fighting element. That way, it's going to be a little yes. more comfortable. Yes, I know exactly yeah. what you're, you're. Yes, yes. Um, the only thing that kind of got me hyped was the ending where they showed, um, where they showed. Uh, oh my goodness, Death the guy Note? from Death Note. Yeah. yeah, the two guys from Death Note. Wait, the someone from Death Note's in it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. showed their shadow yeah. at the very end, like the very, very last <laughs> scene. Like, well, if I wasn't gonna play it before, <laughs> I am now. <laughs> that, that's the only. That's the only thing that that caught me. I was like, oh, that's cool. I wonder what he would fight like. I mean, is there going to be more anime characters besides what they what what we oh, already sure. know, usual we know? You know, I'm One sure. Punch Man. I would like to see One Punch Man in that. I would yeah. like to see One Punch Man. <laughs> yeah, definitely, definitely. Yeah, um, I know what you're saying, Epic, for sure. Like, there's a lot of we can't just be a brawler like DBZ, right? Like thrown out. Yeah, like, here it comes. Because again, like he's like you said epic uh naruto has their own type of style that which i really enjoy you know so we'll see i guess i only saw a little bit of gameplay that they showed um <laughs> and it looked really beat em up type you know switch characters on, on the go type thing yeah you know but well we'll see i mean i don't know <laughs> i don't know what else to say but I will I, say it i'm not beautiful. excited it did it did look beautiful i was gonna say that it looks beautiful but i'm not really like excited for it <laughs> i am well, it looks like, <laughs> do they still use cell shading, or do they have something else for that kind of animation? I think I'm more excited for Ori than for um, Jump Force. Oh. I don't know if it's still cell shading for that one. Uh, it uh, looked like cell shading. It was. It was like a, it a mix. Like it. Yeah, yeah, it was a mix. It was weird. It was like that. Um, a, what was that game called? Akuma, a- Akira, Akuma. The the it was one about one? a god that was on the Xbox 360, and he had like a bunch of fists that he could punch and, with, and he had no arms. Yeah, yeah, it was Akuma. That's the one. It looked like yeah. that. It had that kind of art style, right? Yeah, for sure. I don't know. I um, thought it looked cool, but yeah, not, no, not it, my it, type of game. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Not not like I'm dying to have it, but I, I definitely check it out. Mm-hmm. We got a demo. I definitely check it out. Why yeah, not? I would right. Try it. Have a good night, Gasbox. Agreed. Okay, uh, Tales of. Oh man, I'm gonna I'm gonna Vesperia. crash. Vesperia, come on, you got Vesperia. this. Vesperia. Yeah. Is it Vesperia? Doing so the Vesperia. Tales of Vesperia oh, remastered. I have waited for this day for so edition, long, <laughs> and especially since it's gonna be on the Switch as well. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, that makes all the difference. Yeah. Um, I own it digitally on the Xbox 360. Yeah, but I can't play it because I don't have a 360 anymore, and it's not back compatible on oh. the Xbox One yet. So I oh, haven't been able geez. to play it. Um, if I had but, my Felix Bomb button for that, I would push it. <laughs> but what's great <laughs> is this is not the Xbox 360 version. This is the PS3 port version, the Japanese exclusive with like extra voices and extra characters and such. Mm-hmm. Um, so that's actually really exciting to me. Uh, I'm I'm really glad. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I I I had no idea what game that was. I had to look it up. Um, I never even heard of the heard of the game <laughs> until you brought it up. I was like, what? <laughs> uh, I, I had heard of it. They look cool. I've never played them though. They I've heard they're phenomenal. Yeah, yeah. they are. That, that, that's that's the only thing I've heard of. They're good. So I'm curious sure though, Corey, are they gonna implement some kind of online play? Because if you since you guys don't know how it works, it's pretty much you have a an open world, semi-open world, and whenever you encounter a boss or a mob, it's always on the right of the screen, and you have, they they ended up evolving it throughout the ages, but it started with side-scrolling to the left and right that you can just have open combat, and now it's its own open field. Okay. So I'm wondering if they can implement... If I don't think, they're, I don't think they're doing any of that. I think it's just they're, I think it's just remastering. I mean, it would be a lot to to make it online, because even the newer ones don't have an online system to them. You can play co-op locally, but they don't, like, like all the PS4 ones and stuff, they don't do online. So I don't see why they would do that on a, you know, 15-year-old or whatever game it is now. Right. Yeah. Um, I, it'd be cool, but I don't think it, it'll happen. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, everything would be cool, but how It's just not a feature cool. that I expect. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> for sure. But overall, I think Xbox had a pretty good uh, conference overall. I mean, yeah, I, I thought they did a really good job. They definitely brought up more games than how they did it last year, where it was like, oh, you can do this with the Xbox. You can do that with yeah. the Xbox. And it's like, no games. Just Yeah, it was that. more about the this. Xbox than... I especially like their motto for, for this year. It plays best on Xbox. Yeah, it plays best yeah. on Xbox. <laughs> I will say, though, I am really excited to see what they're going to do with all the new companies they bought. Mm-hmm. So having yeah. so many new all developers. All four of those companies, yeah. man. Yeah. What did they so, buy? Uh, they bought the guys... Lot. Yeah, they, they bought five, I think. <laughs> it was um, five? I think it was I five. I thought yeah. it was five. Yeah, okay. I think it's five. Uh, they bought the guys that made State of Decay. Yep. Of of course they got the guys from uh, for Forza, but that's kind of they they were already there pretty much. Yeah, um, but they officially bought them now. Yeah, they so, officially you know, bought them. Uh, that's first party now. They bought the the guy who's making um that Fox game. Did they buy him as well? I thought the so. What? Yeah, it's a, it's like a Zelda style game with a little fox yeah, as the lead character. It's called Tunic, and yeah. it's something yeah. Zelda. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. They they bought that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, I can't yeah. remember who else they bought, but I'm I'm excited to see if now that these companies will have more money because they are now first party, if they're going to start bringing out. Oh, absolutely. Stuff. They're going to be better supported for sure. Yeah. I, mean, I think I think that they're the the quality of the games will definitely be higher. Yeah, mm-hmm. I, I think it's a little too late for Microsoft now, but. Hopefully mm-hmm. this will at least give them some kind of a comeback, at least to we'll give them a leg to stand on for a little while. Yeah, yeah at least exactly. be relevant for the next console. That's another thing with the next console. Yeah, because yeah. they kind of they kind of said something at the end of there, right? That they have big plans, including their console and blah blah blah. Mm-hmm. So they're they're already teasing at a new um, a new yeah, console I, possibly. I think that's why they kind of overdid it with the amount of games they announced because of that. Mm-hmm. To make sure that they have a place for the next generation of consoles. Yeah, yeah. and and that's yeah. what I, that's exactly what I think is that they're yeah. trying to come out swinging so they stay relevant. So when the next consoles come out, they're still gonna be there. Yeah, yeah. I don't know exactly. if it's enough, but hopefully it's enough. For sure, for sure. Hey, hey Jesse, how you doing, buddy? Well, okay, at least Microsoft <laughs> is making friends. So yeah, well, that's true. For Sony. Sony. Yeah, there you go. There you mm-hmm. go. So Bethesda did theirs. They did a pretty good job, I feel, Bethesda. Uh, Fallout. There was a lot announced on Fallout. There, I was very surprised. I mean, that online play. <laughs> it was expected, though. It was expected. To yeah, have it definitely Fallout was. One. Yeah, it was. Uh, I guess so. <clears throat> I'm not. I, I. You know what? I've never been a Fallout fan. I'm not gonna lie and say I did. I, I'm a Fallout fan, but I'm definitely not a Fallout fan. But this one kind of intrigued me to test it out. To go back and, and take a look at Fallout. Well, because of this one, I bought Fallout 4 to see what it's all about because <laughs> I never played it myself. So I bought yeah. Fallout 4. I got to play it because I want to get That's more so into good. the game and know what 64 is about. You well, know? it's also 76. Really <laughs> They're changing the formula for 76 altogether. Yeah. It's online yeah. multiplayer. This isn't. It's an same. online survival multiplayer. Which right, is... but there's also no single campaign. Yeah. Yeah. Which a lot of people are mad about. Because they want when whenever you whenever you have like a formula and then you divert from the formula, it's like you're gonna have your fans that hate it, and you're yeah. gonna have your fans that love it. Yeah, that I mean, sure. I, I mean, the, going back yeah. to the beginning list that we had, of Resident Evil. Resident Evil. What happened yeah. with Resident Evil? <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> they diverted so much and everybody hated it. Now they've gone back somewhat with number seven. And people are so happy. So I I don't know about Fallout. I'm I'm like my brother. I'm not a big fan of it. It's like Skyrim. It's just never been my thing. Um, if I like RPGs, I'm going to mostly go to Japanese RPGs rather than Western RPGs. But hearing what they're saying about Fallout 76, I'm interested in trying it. It, it seems like it's a mm. cool, different idea. So the downside is they're kind of alienating their, their hardcore followers. The upside I see is, for me, that's not a fan. They're kind of attracting me. So hopefully they'll make a bigger community without fully alienating their original community. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No, no, for sure, for sure. I mean, again, um, it interests me because now, are we going to, they said it was open, right? So is it going to be like one of those things where you have to invite each other? Or if Epic's playing and I'm playing, I just kind of, where are you located? And then he tells me and I show up and you're there. Well, there's a party system that they're going to have. And then they already said that the servers are going to be a lot tinier. It's not going to be something massive like Final Fantasy or World of Warcraft, where you'll mm-hmm. have hundreds of thousands of people. It's going to be... I think they're even talking about really small, like 16 to 32 people. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I remember hearing something like that. Like, I heard something in, like, the 20s. So something fairly, fairly well-constrained. 
Which then because, leads the question of what kind of gameplay is there going to be if there's not really a single player story and there's not right. a whole bunch of players out there. Yeah. And hmm. then my main concern is when you have that little amount of people, how long is it going to be until the nuclear warfare starts happening? Because that's what everyone's main concern is. With Fallout, you've always been able to build shelters, build towns, like especially in 4, you've been able to build tons of towns all over the wasteland and they can farm for you, they can reproduce energy, they can do everything. And mm -hmm. if you have somebody who gets mad at you one day, poof, is it gone forever? Mm -hmm. No, that's true. Or does true. it come back? Because that's a lot of work. Yeah. That, no, that's yeah. true. I agree with you. Yes, yes indeed. Um, well, maybe Doom they Eternal. are going to do... Oh, sorry. No, no, go ahead. Go ahead. Go, go, go finish. Maybe finish, they're going to do something like Blizzard is wanting to do in their upcoming expansion of World of Warcraft, uh, like War Zones. Um, that's where, at one point, you can control as your faction there. Uh, okay. one piece of land at one point and uh, some kind of PvE, PvP kind of style, then you have to take from the opposite set faction, you have to take uh, get the resources to take that point and that keeps switching around. But mm -hmm. it doesn't affect the overall experience of your character. It's just some little on the side PvP, PvE kind of stuff. So maybe they're going to implement something, uh, something on that uh, side. Who knows? But... I, I would hate to see that if somebody nukes you, it'd be gone forever. Because mm -hmm. you put a lot of time and effort in it, and people are just going to rage quit and be like, you know what? Bye. Yeah, that's what I, I would do. That's what yeah, I, would exactly. do. I know I would. It's like, um, what's that game? Arc Survival of All. Yeah. 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 Oh, man. When my stuff gets destroyed by, like, just even the NPC dinosaurs, it's like, I'm done. I don't want to do this. I spent three yeah. hours just to get leveled up enough to do this. I don't want to exactly. spend another three hours to go back. Mm -hmm. And you don't want people to quit exactly. your game. You want it. Mm -hmm. You want them to stay playing your game because that's why you do it. So you don't want to rage quit, people. Mm -hmm. So right. it'd be stupid for them if everything would be like gone. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. No. No. Yeah. Yep. I guess we'll just have to all get it and start forming teams so no one nukes us. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna make watches every like four hours. One of us has got to be on. That's so right. Make sure I'll we're watching each other's back. Yes. <laughs> Jeez. Oh jeez. <laughs> I mean the concept it, it, it's interesting like it's but yeah it'd, it'd be cool that well if you want to nuke someone you have to go into the PVP area mm -hmm. and then you're going to have to do this and do this and do this and then you can nuke them like a big type thing before you can actually do it. Yeah and maybe you, you know? could like yeah. join factions and like it would be a smart idea to have like <laughs> factions and then there's permanent bases for these factions. So yeah. then you always have something that can't be destroyed and then you have yeah. your outside world where you can build and whatever. Something like guild housing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. All right. So Doom or, uh, Eternal, that was announced. Did you guys ever play Doom, the first Doom 2016? Uh, I haven't beaten it, but I, I definitely I played the played first it. Doom back in the, what was it, the 90s? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> so that's the first Doom like... for me, so <laughs> not so much. Yeah, I've only played the older the older DOS Dooms back in the day, but I mean, I've watched I've watched Rigo play the other the 2016 Doom. I guess is that the one? Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. One. yeah. And that's a really I'm, good I'm one. I'm still waiting for the copy that somebody was supposed to send me for my birthday three months ago. <laughs> <laughs> I had a random viewer pop in, and they're like, "I'm gonna send it to you for your birthday. I already bought it and everything. It's on its way. I'm still waiting for it. Then I'm yeah. gonna stream it." There you go. <laughs> Doom was was uh, so it was shown. We got to see buildings, cities. It looks like uh, what they're doing is they're bringing health to Earth now. Um, something that everybody was bugging about. I guess what we want to know is, are we going to start in hell? And then do we work our way up? And is the, the guy you used in Doom 2016 the same character? Because this one they showed, his armor was all broken. He looked like he was been fighting for a while. You know, because <laughs> at the end of the game of 16... Cover your ears if you haven't played it. <laughs> Wait, hold on, of, I'm taking uh, off my headset. I'm taking off my headset. Okay, go. Oh yeah, that's give us a thumbs up when you're ready. <laughs> like everybody. Uh, <laughs> at, the, right. at the end of at the end of 16, <laughs> uh, you destroy you destroy everything, and you stay in hell. So that's what happens at the end of it. There you go. There's a thumbs up. <laughs> that reminds me of, like, you know? Awesome. And then he keeps talking about it, and we're like, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so like um. Yeah. I mean, they didn't really tease much. They just showed, they did say there's a lot more demons going on. So, like, I know that in 2016, they got rid of, like, um, oh, my goodness. I can't remember his name off the top of my head. I just had it, and I forgot it. Anyways, he summons, he, he revives monsters. He's this big, ugly, alien-looking guy. Our, Spoiler alert. I don't remember. 
I don't remember his name. <laughs> anyway, they took, him, they took him away in number six, 2016. He was in Doom 2. So they took him away and, and added another monster to it. So people are saying that they're probably going to re-add him to that, uh, to that side. But again, I mean, it was just a quick little teaser. We got a little taste of it. I'm excited for it. Yeah, I, mean, I think it'll be cool because I... the last one was a huge, huge, huge success. So I, I don't see this one failing. Mm -hmm. um, it even got me excited for it. Like I, I have the original. I have Doom 2016 on my Xbox. Just never played through it. Not for any negative reason. Um, but I know what I did play was really fun, so I'm assuming this is going to be awesome too. Hey, action packed, why not? Mm -hmm. <laughs> right? Sometimes you just need a good shoot them up that way. Yeah, just hop on yeah. and shoot everything in the world. Yeah, <laughs> same with Wolfenstein. Yeah, kill everything exactly, just blow stuff up. Yeah, they're right. calling me a dork in the chat. Hey, no, I have to point it out. <laughs> Come down on the haters with Rachna. <laughs> 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 uh elder scroll you miss rage thank you seven second preview and it's coming it's like what they did last year with metroid yeah, with the elder where was metroid <laughs> <laughs> more importantly where's yoshi Okay, wait, 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 wait. We're getting, we're getting we're getting the the we we got to go through our list. We're going to get there. We're going to get there. All right. Ra rage. So they showed, they showed, okay, hold on, hold on. We're Bethesda talking Rage 2, right? Not Rage. Yeah, Rage, rage, yeah, two. rage, two. rage 2. Rage 2. Rage 2. So Bethesda opened in the weirdest, uh, in the weirdest way I've ever seen anything open. And they showed up this with this rock star group that I guess uh, wrote the music for Rage, or at least yeah. the intro for them. I mean, I thought that was the most, that, it was cringy. I think it that's so word. awkward. That I think that wins the cringe award for the whole show. At least for me, it did. Like yeah. I had to take a screenshot. I tweeted it and everything because you could see the audience was so not into it. I saw that. I, I saw that. All the audience was. was like, "Yeah." <laughs> one guy. One one guy was like, "They were rocking out," and all you see is <laughs> <laughs> he just puts his headphones on and it's like, "Oh boy, what did you do?" <laughs> now, did you guys play Rage One? No. No, no. See, I did, and it was a huge disappointment. the The art style was really cool. The game, it kind of did like the carrot on the stick type thing, where it was always leading you forward that you wanted to find out what was happening, and then it just stopped. Um, so it was very disappointing in the way of like, uh, it felt like you just played the intro of a story, like you never got any kind of closure for anything. Mm. Kind of um, like Battlefront's two story, huh? <laughs> you start yeah, yeah. Good, and then it's like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and that's that's how this pretty much was. Like it felt like it was something like I would picture um Fallout being, uh, mm. but more action oriented. And then it just kind of ended. Like it, it it literally felt like you were in the middle of the story and it just stopped. Um yeah. so for me Rage 2 happens. was the game that nobody asked for. Like it was one of those the last one was such a disappointment that I don't even want this one. Exactly. exactly. That's what I was yeah. hearing like who who was like this is a good idea yeah <laughs> they all sat in an office and one person said this is a good idea and everybody else went yes you are right <laughs> but you can't yeah face palm button yeah no and you know what it, it's true though because like it's like louis said the game you played it all the way you got to the ending and it was like they showed this cutscene and zoomed up and then all of a sudden the credits started and you're like wait 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 did yeah. I miss the ending yeah it's like what what, what <laughs> did I miss like I don't understand what just happened like we haven't <laughs> unlocked anything well, right? Wasn't it an open it, world game too? I'm it sorry. was an open yeah. world game too. Yeah, no, no, it was. No, you're an open world game. Yeah, it, it just it wasn't done very <laughs> well. Yeah, maybe. Was... <laughs> <laughs> no, I could not pass that one up. <laughs> Epic's an open world game confirmed. <laughs> confirmed. <laughs> Come play me. What? He's my open yeah, world I mean, game. Yeah, I mean that was that was the <laughs> that was the rage the 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 rageiest. That was the the cringiest game out of all the E3 stuff for me. Like, just it was it was bad. It was bad. Mm hmm. No, no, I, 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 yeah, I, I, thought, I, I don't know what Ubisoft, the uh, uh, what was it called again? I forgot. It was Ubisoft, right? Or wasn't it? Yeah, it was Bethesda. No, no, was it no, no. What, what, the, that, that, that crashing game on the motorcycles? I thought that was oh, better performed uh, than, than the Rage. Yeah. <laughs> the guy who I'm, I'm, I'm trying to look bike. for what it was. <laughs> So, like Road Rash or something? No. No, I think it was Trials, wasn't it? Oh, Trials. Yeah, well, Trials was, too. Yeah, 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 the guy yeah, walked yeah, up and go. smashed yeah, the yeah. whole podium and everything. Oh, yeah. Trials yeah. Rising. Yeah, yeah, yeah that, that was, was less cringy. Thank you. Even that was less cringy than 
Oh, great. <laughs> oh, Many things were less. Uh... The craziness. Mm. Yeah. All right. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. Um, PlayStation conference. <laughs> What? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Gazuntai, or were you laughing? <laughs> you can't. You can't call a thirty-minute meeting a conference. That's four. That's like four or five people going and having lunch. Well, that's. I mean, <laughs> that's what E three was for Sony this year. Square Enix was, was just as bad. Oh, See, I know. You know. That was really bad. And this is where I'm torn. Everybody says PlayStation was bad. I didn't think PlayStation's was that bad. I didn't Everything think that so they either. put out was beautiful. Yeah, I don't think I mean, the, the content was yeah, bad. Yeah. Same thing with Square Enix. I don't think the content was bad. I just think that it was a poorly was, done E3 yeah, yeah. presentation. You it put was poorly like performed. For instance, I know, and this is going a little off topic, but but Square Enix, they did thirty minutes of trailers. That's it. One trailer in particular was like seven seconds long. Yeah, I remember <laughs> the the um, Octopath. Mm, I mean. Yeah. Okay, anyway, sorry. We'll go back to that. I just, as a, as a thought of that one, mm -hmm. but yeah. I will say that guy <laughs> with the flute, that was that was very close to the rage uh, awkwardness. <laughs> yeah, that was. It was true. Yep. <laughs> Last like, of Us 2 was shown. So, I mean, uh, we got a quick little video. We saw some gameplay. Um, what do you guys think? Some Are you gameplay. excited? Yeah, what, I mean, what, have you guys uh, heard of this whole controversy about well, who was it? It Alan. was a, it was another video game maker who like pointed out that it wasn't real gameplay and then deleted the tweet right away because he was like embarrassed at what he just said. They I didn't hear about that. yeah no, somebody I didn't hear about somebody that. tweeted like Last of Us Two had some awesome gameplay then somebody else put yeah gameplay in quotes and then put fake and then he deleted right. it and he was one of the other guys that was at E three like one of the other um, game developers he was like the president of one of the game developer companies and he deleted it and everything. Um, oh. With the whole thing of like him saying that you can't make a game look as good as Last of Us looked, um, so that was like all over. Because I mean, it's it's a it's pretty immature. I mean, if you think it's fake, you think it's fake, but don't it's don't go out and tweet immature. it, man. Sure, that's just outright jealousy. Yeah, oh, absolutely. Yeah, and that's uh, one of the things sure. that people are saying. They're like, okay, whether it's true or not, like whether the video footage is real or not, that's just him saying I couldn't get it to work. So obviously, you can't yeah. either. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Well, they're always notorious for having videos and gameplays that look way too real, mm -hmm. you know, and they have exposed them in the past. Sometimes it was on their computer, but at the same time, this was on a console, but at the same time, again, that particular scenes that they went through are also lower rendered scenes. Yeah. Whenever you're going to yeah. have something that's in a bigger atmosphere, it's not going to look that beautiful. That's mm -hmm. just how it is. It was a dark scene. It was mm -hmm. enclosed. Mm -hmm. You know, there wasn't that much going on. Of course, it's going to be beautiful. They could do that yeah. on the Switch. Mm -hmm. I mean, hell, they yeah. did it on the Wii U with Xenoblade Chronicles X. I don't mean to bring up Nintendo. <laughs> I'm just saying. Yeah, no, you're giving an example render. for sure. You know. My fi my 15 minute timer didn't go off yet. Because <laughs> 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 no, we haven't hit the I'm big really one. I'm looking forward to Last of Us 2. It is one of my most anticipated games ever since I played the first one, and I can't wait to get my hands on it. Can't wait. For sure, I'm, you know. I'm, 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 I'm dying to know what happens after. Especially and I, just no spoilers because I still haven't played it. Oh, okay. No spoilers, especially <laughs> after the end and you go through the entire story. I just gotta know what happens next. You just gotta know. Stu said my your mic is too low still, uh, Rigo, but I don't know if he thinks that. My, my mic is still low? It's still, that's, still what, low? that's what ugly Stu just said. He said, Rigo, turn your mic up. Dun, dun, dun. I'm excited for it too, though, Chris, because I'm playing through it right now and it's just, it's so much fun. Yeah, like, I, I played, I I played the before. first like four hours and it's amazing. It's I'm sure. playing it in my new series After Dark so we can be a bit a little bit more nasty. Because <laughs> no, you, 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 know you cannot play The Last of Us while being family friendly. That's just impossible. It, it's hard. It's hard. No, that it game is, is definitely hard. Um, Strawberry Jam. <laughs> <laughs> no, like, uh, like, are we are we focusing more on uh, what's her name again? I, see, I forgot her name. Ellie. Ellie? Ellie. Ellie, yeah. Where are we focusing more on her in this story? Or are we going to be playing as both? I mean, they didn't, they haven't shown Joel. They only showed Ellie gameplay, but I think um, the, the first teaser trailer that we had uh, in, in, in the wooden shack, Ellie playing the guitar, I think. Yeah, I remember that. What we saw as gameplay, or at least the scene where she kissed that girl. I yeah. think oh my it, god, that she comes kissed the girl. Oh. After. Yeah, indeed. Oh my god, she kissed the girl! <laughs> well, she liked it. I don't want to say <laughs> any of the spoilers for Retro, but that was kind of... 
that was i've heard that much i've heard that it's like did you guys play the other game like that's that's what i've heard so i don't know what it is but that's that's that was shown it's publicly known retro can look it up and it's not it has nothing to do with the story but i think uh in that shack i think the uh, the story comes after that scene because what i make out of that is something happens when she's still living in the town with all the people and uh, with her girlfriend and the guy and whatever i think the story only happens like after that scene where she plays the guitar and yeah, she maybe. says i'm going to kill every last one of them because that's all you saw that's all you heard mm-hmm. yeah yeah for sure hey look epic potatoes streaming right now what oh, wow <laughs> i am <laughs> yeah look at look at look at the stream you'll see it says right there New Epic Potato, Super Mario Maker, viewer levels. <laughs> Live now. Um, <laughs> <it's an> <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I agree. Like I, I'm uh, that's why I'm excited to see what where we're going to. I mean the ending was the ending was great for the first one, and then you jump into this one. What's happening with this one, you know? Yeah, I what gotta say whether or not that was real gameplay, even if it's not. It's not gonna be night and day. Like like when they make this big deal of how games look in in trailers, like like um uh the the one that they're making number two for right now uh starts with a D. They're gonna add raids to it, and it's about like it was in New York, and now it's gonna be in Washington. The division. The division. Oh, the division. Um, you know, it didn't look as good as the first gameplay they showed, but it wasn't like you're going from Xbox 360 to PS4. Like it wasn't night and day difference. So with with um with this game. I think even if it's not as good as it looks in the clips, it's still going to be one of the best looking games to come out. <laughs> Miguel says, Ellie looks ugly in my in the trailer, in my opinion. I feel that the reason why they had to change her up was first, all that fight they did with, with uh, Ellen Page. Is it Ellen Page? Yeah. 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 yeah, all that fight that she caused when the first one came out, I think they're trying to drift away to not make her look that way anymore. I mean, that's how I feel. I mean, yeah. I well, make her look older. you shouldn't forget, she's also older, so yeah. she changes. I mm-hmm. mean, we all changed. I went from super happy, pretty good looking kid to this ugly mug, so <laughs> 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 I went downhill. I mean, we, we all can't be blessed like Chadley and get an epic exactly. beard to be like super handsome. Exactly. <laughs> I'll just never get rid of it. Or then like I, I'll, I'll be all right. Full head of hair. Like, <laughs> not, not all of us have the full head of hair. <laughs> yeah. yeah. If I would but, let my beard grow, I would have a beard like Epic Potato Chip after like two years. This is true. <laughs> this I, I could shave this off today, tonight, and have this back by next week. Oh my god, that's nice. This is me not shaving in over a week. <laughs> this is over a week of not shaving. You this, see, this is, this is me Epic after Potato Monday. Chip. <laughs> Epic Potato Chip is me after a week. <laughs> <laughs> Jin Mario, um, we th- this is it's it, it's all over. It's it's not just Nintendo. It's gonna be all of E3 right now. We're going through a list. Nintendo is on here. Uh, we're not there yet. We have yeah. Yet, so don't worry. We still have Sony, which we are now, and then <laughs> believe Ubisoft. me, Nintendo <laughs> ends up getting a big part of the spotlight. Don't yeah, worry. that's why oh, we're yeah. going through all this first because then we're gonna be on <laughs> Nintendo for a long time. <laughs> long. <laughs> It Meanwhile, Chadley hasn't sh- shaved in an hour. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys. I need to stand up and shave real quick. It, it reminds me of, uh, what is it, on the Santa Claus? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. Um, power. <laughs> I have a question about this one. Dragon Quest XI. Oh, like yes. A, is that a PS4 exclusive? Like a Sony mm, exclusive? No. No. Or is that like. So, no. Because I've always just seen it on PlayStation. Like, always just commercials on PlayStation, PlayStation. That's why I was always asking. Anyway, well, this is yes. earlier. I have Dragon Quest 2 for the Game Boys. Okay. Oh, yeah. yeah they, showed me that. They've definitely done a lot of Nintendo. Um, I don't think they've ever done Xbox. Um, yeah. oh, okay. But it's definitely been between Nintendo and, and PlayStation and all. Yeah. Uh, I do not. One of them, is it? Is 9 or is one of them is, that's coming is going to be on, like, PS4 and also 3DS. I think mm-hmm. that's 11. Is it 11? Because I didn't see any. I haven't seen anything about the 3DS version from E3 or from like being able to let, order it and stuff. Let me check that because I was watching Wikipedia for. Or, okay. Uh, let's see. Because the cool thing with the the 3DS one is that like the top screen is going to be like uh, 
like he has four graphics, not really, but like good, good graphics. And then the bottom is going to be like uh, eight bit graphics, basically, or sixteen, or what you know what I mean. Not really, but but like the the the, the retro like graphic. Mm-hmm. Let's but see, yeah, so here, a development Park. for Quest Eleven started in twenty thirteen, and initially the team considered to make a fully open world decided against it as it led to uh, issues telling its story. PlayStation Four, Microsoft Windows, and Nintendo Switch versions feature high. Definition graphics oh. using the Unreal Engine 4. And uh, here Switch is hype. something about... Switch hype? Definitely. Switch so. <laughs> not yet, not yet. <laughs> oh, man. Got to be fun. excited. In <laughs> April 2017, Square Enix held a special presentation for the game where they re- uh, with a re- release date for PlayStation 4 and 3DS versions of the oh. game were revealed to be July 29th, 2017. Oh. Same month. Uh, Sony, Sony oh, so and came Nintendo out last unveiled <laughs> special editions for the PlayStation 4 Slim and Nintendo 2DS XL hardware for Japan to tie into the game. So, by the looks of it, it's, uh, it should be out on 3DS already. No, but... <laughs> clearly it's not. Clearly. Yeah. It's but a lie. In, Fake like, news. Oh, by the way, Fortnite's free and <laughs> <laughs> I'd sooner see Fortnite on the 3DS, but <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I'm super excited for Dragon Quest 11. Yeah, I've go ahead. Played any Dragon Quest? I've heard that they're really, really good. Um, where was I looking? I was looking on somewhere where they had them on like for fairly cheap, and I almost bought some, and then I changed my mind. But I hear they're awesome. I I've never played them. I hear they're fantastic. I suggest that you play. You start with Dragon Quest 8. Okay. It's my favorite, personally. And look, even Derek said, I've only played eight, but I loved it. Um, <laughs> there are a lot of really good ones. Like, the, the series is great as all. Personally, eight, to me, is, like, is obviously the most modernized one. Um, and um, it feels like the most modernized turn-based RPG. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know how to explain it, but it's a really good game. And if you get a chance to play it, because I think it's on, I think you can play it on PS4. I think they, uh, they, they released it on there. Plus, it's on like iPhones and junk. And... That's where I saw it. It was on mobile. Yeah. I was looking through mobile yeah. games, looking for RPGs, <laughs> and I saw it there. Everything's um, going on mobile. Yeah, Derek, you might be right. It might be the first one that was Dragon Quest instead of Warrior. Yeah, see, and I played Dragon Quest Builders, the demo, and that was really yeah. fun. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> but yeah, very excited for that. Mm-hmm. They, yeah, the trailer looked fantastic. Trip. It looked really nice. You know, it kind of got me hyped, and I've never played them. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, must I mean, admit, that... the last one I played was the Game Boy version. <laughs> yeah, I gotta try I mean, them. I gotta try I them. I think it's easy to jump into those because, like, the art style is so iconic. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Dragon Ball Z hype. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't look at one of the characters and you're like, "That's Bulma," <laughs> you know what I yeah. mean? Like, yeah. That's what Goku Dragon is your really... main character in Dragon Quest Eight. You can go Super exactly. Saiyan. I mean, let's just. <laughs> right let's just throw it out there let's just throw it out there what was i gonna say um oh my goodness okay so quick i just saw here on 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 chat people were asking about uh taco bucks i disabled them for this stream guys because we're we're, we're chatting up and i want to see your questions so i want to be able to answer them and it'd be really hard with taco bank doing his thing too yeah so that way for me to see your questions and and try to answer them if you have questions for us um i won't it won't be mixed up with taco bank so that's why it's disabled right now yeah it's one stream it's not a big deal yeah Yeah. exactly it it won't damage anything and again if you guys have questions go ahead and throw them in i'll be reading them out as much as i can okay (laughs) sir nigel (laughs) you know what leanna (laughs) <laughs> right. I know, what a cool fan he has next to him. Oh man, I had to do the same thing <laughs> in my old apartment, so I, I feel you, Epic. I feel you. Sometimes, like to. in between stream breaks, I'll like put my face into it yeah. and pretend like I'm Rose from Titanic. <laughs> <laughs> I was I was playing uh, and Sea you of think Thieves of and I was doing you, right? that on the boat. <laughs> you just yeah, you just hold it. I'm on top of the world. <laughs> I'll only let you drown once, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> Jesse, that's not nice. Don't ask us. That's a loaded question, Jesse. Regal, who's your favorite streamer? Wow. <laughs> wow. Clearly, it's Jesse. Yeah, it's Jesse. Clearly. Jesse's my favorite streamer. He's the best. <laughs> that's funny. 
<laughs> um, so what about this Ghost of Tsushima? What was that? That's exactly oh, what I was going to say. Ghost oh, of Tsushima. I have not heard of this at all. Oh, no, man, you have to look it up. It is nope. beautiful looking. It looks amazing. I honestly, I was probably one of the people who was like, that's fake. Because it looks too, too good. I know. It, it looks, looks phenomenal. It looks, it looks amazing. Phenomenal. Oh, that is game it? looks so... Oh. At first, Nobody I thought it was way of the Samurai. It's another Japanese uh, style game. Yep. But it is, oh, like, it's great. And the like, like the the violence in it, it it's uh it looks crazy. It looks crazy. I'm really excited it for it. Is it like, like God all of War the... one two three ascension violence? <laughs> it, no, it's just no, more no. realistic. Like it's because God of War is like over the top cartoony violence. Yeah. This true. looks like realistic, like chopping guys' arms off because you're a samurai, right? And you just see I mean, like blood spouting kind of... out and realistic just, in the same it, kind of way. It looked like for honor, but way more attention to the art. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's like they're yeah, calling for, for dishonor. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like there was this whole scene with like the guy fighting the girl, and you can see like the the flowers falling in the background and the light shimmering off the trees, and it looked like mm. a like I told my brother we were we were joking around during uh, work that it looked like you know in Kirby when they do the 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 samurai mini game where it's like <laughs> it counts down and you push a button and then they attack each other. It's like the most realistic version of that because they're just sitting there ready to fight and you see these roses in the background just falling. It, it looked amazing, or cherry blossoms. It must have been, uh, but it looked amazing. The game looks really, really beautiful. It does, it does. And you know what? Like, I really enjoyed how uh, it was. <clears throat> again, the colors were very vibrant. It was, it was really focused on the colors. Like mm-hmm. the colors really drew me in, and I was like, wow, like that's a lot. That's a lot. And I did. Um, I know they interviewed the um, the creators of the game, and mm-hmm. they did say like that one scene where the actual game gameplay was showing um they said it was it was true that they could that that's how it's running because there's not a lot of things going on at that scene that they were able to do pull out more but it was gonna kind of go up and down depending on where you are and what's going on so i guess it's gonna be uh what's the word when like a bird bird is the word bird is the word <laughs> where, it switches, where, where it switches in, in <laughs> resolutions like one spot is this but another spot is this so i guess they're gonna oh, do dynamic, that the game. Yeah, dynamic resolution dynamic. or whatever yes there's gonna be dynamic yeah. graphics they said yeah, yeah I what, mean, there are some games out there that look phenomenal like right now i'm playing i'm replaying through uh rise of the tomb raider and there's some scenes in there that just look ridiculous like how good they look so i, I can, can see that happening when there's not a lot of colossus. people yeah hey you know you know what game looks really good what graphics look really good fortnite <laughs> get out of here number what? one best graphics ever get out of here wait 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 i never played that game oh yeah it's, it's, a, little, it's a little game. What, you would like it, I don't think. what do you say there's a small thoughts? following small we thoughts. should all play it on, on one of the one of our Stars. podcasts yeah. what's everyone's favorite person what do you mean what's everyone's favorite person i see here Journey Mario asked, what, asked, what's everyone's favorite person? Spanish dude, because he's stupid famous. Um, <laughs> Goku. Um, Go- Goku. Vegeta. And Hathaway. <laughs> oh, favorite presentation. Not including Nintendo? Well, that's that's not fair. <laughs> Presentation? Uh, I don't know. It's hard for me to say. Mine was PlayStation. I don't even care that everybody Playsta- else hated I was it. Say, I, think, I think PlayStation was my favorite. I really enjoyed what they were doing there. <laughs> See, it was really I didn't, hard. Oh, sorry, I didn't like Nintendo. That's me, though. I didn't like what Nintendo showed. Oh, I was disappointed in Nintendo hardcore. Oh, we're not there yet. We're not there yeah, yet. We're not there yet. <laughs> we're going to talk about the we're not there. there. <laughs> 15 minutes, guys. 15 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> well, with, Sony, Sony. With, with Sony, yeah, there wasn't a lot there. And everything, like we said, everything was beautiful. I'm glad they, showed, they showed. <laughs> the pan flute guy. That was my favorite part. <laughs> I'm with Ferran. I'm with Ferran. <laughs> my problem is, like, Sony has been pushing VR ever since they put it out. You yeah. Know? They've been doing a lot in the last year, and there are some games on VR I absolutely love, mm-hmm. you know. But they didn't do anything for E3 this year, as far as that, which I'm really yeah. disappointed about because a couple of years back, I don't know if you guys remembered the book. Yep. 
<laughs> oh yeah, the book. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Wait. So uh, wait. What happened to that? Somebody book? said <laughs> that Sony had said they were they were announcing a, like several new games up until E3, and I didn't follow it. But when they when I have to look it up. But when the person said it, they said there was an article saying that there was going to be like a brand new VR game, a brand new regular game, a new game, an old game that's going to have VR support added to it, and stuff like that. Like did anybody? Because you said that they didn't do anything for E3 with the VR, which they still didn't, if that's the case. I can but, name that VR game for you. That's the Transcendence guy with Frodo. With Frodo? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, Elijah Wood no. is making yeah. a VR game. Yeah. Um, the new game that they made that, that they announced was Tetris, which is really stupid. Oh, yeah, like, yeah. I was so yeah, excited, yeah. and it's like, Tetris. I was like, oh. <laughs> and then from software is working on another VR game, but the, all they showed was like a, a little clip of In a Hallway, and then it was over. So it was like they didn't oh. show anything. You don't know what the gameplay is. You don't know anything about it. It's just supposed to be different than the regular from software. <laughs> yes, Tetris VR. Yes. Because it's titles like that, I don't like VR. <laughs> Wait, who doesn't like VR? What now? No, I I'm not a fan. I don't want to shut myself up. Well, I'm not a fan either. I'm a human being, but <laughs> that's a fan. Well, why are we talking about this on our stream that's about games? <laughs> Crispy. <laughs> oh, he left. He's done. He left. Oh, look, there I goes. love my fan. <laughs> I don't have a fan. I, I, I broke two. something. I've always wanted to get one of those really good fans, like the Dyson ones. They're mm. $300 or $400. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, right, right. Like, the, exactly. like they have those like circle ones that just like... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they make no noise, and you're like, "How? What alien technology are you?" Look, there, he's got one of those. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Let's do a podcast about fans. Megan, it's not even that cold, cold dude. Two fans. <laughs> Megan says, "I don't need a fan because it's already igloo here at my place." So I'm, <laughs> so he's just cold blooded. Me Megan, is. come move room. to Canada. Move to Canada for like uh, three no. weeks in January. Let's try for three weeks in January. <laughs> no, she's complaining it's seventy-one degrees. Are you kidding me? I don't know how much <laughs> that is. How much is that in Celsius? Um, uh, it's probably it's like, about like thirty. No, not thirty. No, 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 it's like twenty, Whoa, 20, 20 like, twenty-one. Are you complaining about twenty-one? What? <laughs> hey, we got hit with thir what was it today? Today was thirty-seven. Tomorrow's yeah. gonna be forty. Oh. Celsius. I can get some cooling down. In my game room, the sun's on it all flipping day, so it's always really hot. That's why I got two fans. Yeah. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm melting. I'm melting! <laughs> That's the true reason I haven't used the cam lately. I just don't want to see you guys sweat. So, uh, so, so <laughs> hey, here's, here's a game that none of you guys have heard of yet, especially Rio. Um, oh, some, game, some, some little game, Resident, President Evil 2 or something? <laughs> <laughs> Resident Evil, like I haven't heard of they, this one yet. I don't know. Are they remaking some kind of? Yeah, Rigo, have you heard of this game? game? I don't know if you heard about this one. <laughs> what is, is this that? The one about horses? <laughs> That's the one with horses. Is that the one with the horses? You know, oh where you tie up, <laughs> where you tie up a potato. I mean, what? Oh, what? <laughs> oh, <my laughs> Resident Evil. Oh, oh boy. Just Resident just a, Evil. 2. This this was our reaction for Resident Evil Two. Wait, where's my camera? <laughs> <laughs> that looks hey, like your reaction when that looks like your reaction whenever I donate. Six yeah, that's pretty much it too. They, we yep. were screaming just as loud. <laughs> yeah, we were. Oh my god! So Resident Evil Two remake. They finally announced it. Not announced it, but they finally showed real, real, real trailer and actual gameplay, which I may add is probably the creepiest thing I've ever seen. They brought it back. Um, we're looking at it's going to be third person over the shoulder shooting. But it looks like, from what I've been seeing, the zombies are going to be super, super tough. And you can't depend on just killing them because they can't take it. Like, you, you, can't, you can't waste your bullets. Go. <laughs> yeah, I've never played what, do you, what, what do you guys I think? Love to play it. I got nothing I on this. do a knife-only playthrough. Oh, there you go. Chris <laughs> will not let him kill it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Christy, like tells him that every other day. He's like, "Hey, knife only." <laughs> At least Dewey does too, though. At least Dewey comes by and he's like, "Hey, knife only, please." <laughs> I can't help it. 
<laughs> so but, we got uh, we got our trailer. Uh, we did see that Leon is back to his former self, not the Resident Evil Four Leon or Resident Evil Six Leon that we had with the blonde hair and the um, emo look. Yeah, he he looks. I have to say, he looks uh, like a newbie. Like he does look like a rookie. Mm-hmm. You know, he's scared. He's worried. But at the same time, they make him look like I'm tough. I can do this. You know, they give him that attitude still. So he's I not like even that. Tough. <laughs> I'm, I'm excited know how they're going stuff. through the like they're going through the same story but they've changed things so like the scene with the 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 officer that's there that's bitten like you can see that there's a lot more interaction it's not just you meet him you talk to him and he's dead there's like it looks like he's going to be sending you off on like little mini missions or something I don't know it looks interesting I'm excited yeah. to see what they're going to do with the story for sure you know because I mean, the gameplay that they showed was straight right into the police station. They haven't shown anything outside. We don't know what's going on outside. Um, they didn't even, you didn't even communicate with Claire at all. So you have no idea what's going on her her end. Um, but from the looks at it, like, you go into, a, so they showed the gameplay that you go into the area. Um, it's super dark, super pitch black. And like when you get bitten, it looks like the marks of the bites and you getting attacked, your clothes are being torn. So it looks like that's going to stay. My and clothes are being time, torn. Yeah, man, you get naked. <laughs> over through time, apparently, uh, you start healing and you'll see scabs. And I, 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 I think I like that a lot. I think I like that. Yeah, I think it'll be awesome. I My only disappointment with watching the, the cutscenes and the gameplay, it looks a lot less likely that there will be VR support because it's over the shoulder. So I think it would be a lot of work for them to go into VR. So if there is VR support, I'm going to start banking that it'll be like its own separate thing. Yeah. Kind of like it is on Rise of the Tomb Raider where there's the game and then there's a VR section. I have mm-hmm. a feeling this is going to be the same and that makes me really sad. For sure. No, I, I mean, I would, I, I'm not going to lie. It would be nice to see that in VR because could you imagine a liquor red in front of you? I know, right? Hot. I mean, <laughs> 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 oh, wrong one. I'm sorry. <laughs> nice. Right, so, I think For Resident sure. Evil 2 Remastered will be the uh, the black, the one that I'm gonna buy because the last one I bought was Operation Raccoon City. Wasn't a fan. <laughs> oh, Again, geez. I'm not a fan. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that, that game's not, they're, they're not right a good here. Resident Evil though. No. Going back to what yeah, Epic, what, what Epic said about, about changing the, the Revelation ones because they're uh, they're with discount now in the eShop mm-hmm. on the yeah. Switch as well. But I don't know. I was so disappointed in that one. No, it's totally night and day, man. It's totally different. Raccoon City, I mean. Yeah, yeah, and that's what I'm saying. It's it's totally different than Revelations. Because Raccoon City was was a very... Look, what we were talking about with Epic earlier. It's um, They changed everything where it just became all about action and not about horror at all. Revelations went back to how it was like in Resident Evil 4 and Resident Evil 2 where it was like dark corridors and and Mm -hmm. low ammo and, and like a good story. So if, if there's anything you want to try, seven or revelations is a good way to go for the modern ones. Play yeah, six, it's not a horror game, game anymore. Yeah, they ignore five or six because they're just action uh, games. Six is the only one I liked. Oh my god. I'm still, looking for, I'm still looking for four on the GameCube. I sold it when I was a kid, and I'm like, I want it back now. I have it. <laughs> one of my friends donated Chris, it to me. He's like, so I sold it when I was a kid, like last year. <laughs> <laughs> how much just better kidding, is Resident me. Evil? How much better is Resident Evil to, to Smash Bros? Oh my god, sorry, <laughs> oh, I am. Yeah. <laughs> and Riddle no. loses all his subs. <laughs> right? <Okay. laughs> but no, I, I, I think um, they did, graphically, I think they did a really good job. At first, I wasn't, like, when they showed the trailer, I was a little confused because, like, it didn't look, uh, it didn't look graphically nice. And I was like, uh-oh. But then once they zoomed out, and then they showed everything like there, there, there they are. There's a the graph I want to see. <laughs> but I mean, I was excited. I've been waiting for that game for a long. For me, that well, I'm, I'm and for Louis too. That was the game that really made me fall in love. And I said, yes, E3 is done. That's all I wanted to see, and I was very satisfied. Yeah. Once I saw that, I was like, E3 is over. It's done. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> so, I mean, that's good. That's good. No more E3. We're done. <laughs> yeah. Okay, guys, that was it. That's the podcast. We just want to talk Resident Evil. See you later. Uh, <laughs> I guess I'm out then. I got nothing to add to that. <laughs> I mean, nothing. Nothing beats Final Fantasy VII. I know you guys heard all the news of the C3 about it. Oh, oh yeah, I know tons. everything they said about all it. All that news. Yeah, well, we're leaving that till the end because there's just so that. much to say. There's just too much to talk about. Yeah, we'll talk about uh, Wild Rift later, McJoe. 
I'll tell you why he's not in Smash. <laughs> what? No, oh, why? Geez. Okay, right. uh, the one game that they announced like four or five times, Kingdom the Hearts. The one game 3. to rule them all. Every, no, everybody showed a trailer for that. <laughs> yeah. Square did, Xbox did. Nintendo did. Not really. See, Sony but, did. <laughs> but see, no. Sony, Sony showed a little bit more than most, uh, than most guys. I really well, enjoyed what I saw for Kingdom Hearts 3 because they actually showed a different, a different trailer. Yes. Yes. But the well, thing that bugs think... me the most, I don't know if you guys noticed, but there was no sound effects. All there was was music and the voices, but there was no real sound effects to it. Yeah, I pointed it out to my brother. Yeah, I'm, like, I'm like, do you guys hear something? I'm like, do you hear something weird? He's like, yeah, what is that? I'm like, there's no sound effects. It's just music and voices. There's no sound effects in any of the trailers. That worries me. Because if, um, if they can't even get man, sound effects for the cutscenes that they're presenting, <laughs> what does that say for how far along they well, are in the game? Do you know if you if you listen closely when you're playing Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, there's many times when you're racing and they remove all sound effects and you only get the music. I've never had that happen. You will now noticed. listen to it and we'll find that. <laughs> I've heard it many times where it'll just kind of go silent, but not really, but it'll it'll just be the music. And I've pointed out many times, you know, and I'm like, that's so weird. The music is just overtaking all the all the audio and stuff now. Corey oh, made it up. <laughs> Jesse, Corey made no. it up. Every one of y'all, let's just, let's just all grab our switches and, you know, start let's racing. Just, let's just play Mario Kart. Um, yeah, but no, but this was very, very evident that there was no sound effects. Like, there was stuff like explosions yeah. and nothing. And it's just like, it's really weird. No, like, there no. wasn't it probably even isn't the same thing. <laughs> it's probably not supposed to be like that. Just fun fact. Yeah. <laughs> Unless my switch is broken, it's possible. I don't know. You think they have a little more development for it, considering... They knew, like Square Enix as a company knew that that was going to be the one thing that everyone focused on, especially oh, with all sure. the deals they did. I mean, hell, you look at Microsoft, everyone was shocked that Kingdom Hearts was on Microsoft first. Mm -hmm. Microsoft yeah. paid bank for mm -hmm. that, and they had it, yeah. which was fine. But then you look at Squeenix's one, they had those sound problems, and then you look at Sony's one, where they're like, we're going to give Sony more because Square Enix and Sony have always been like this. Mm -hmm. Like, that's why everyone was so shocked. So you would think whenever they have something that hyped, they would make sure to bug test everything before they put on a presentation. I don't understand that. Yeah, Could, and it, I mean, but it I might not be a bug. It might be intentional. I mean, but I like why? what Steffi was saying here. She's well, yeah, like, exactly. maybe, maybe they were trying to not distract from the featured song they were doing. I mean, that would make sense. They have this song playing, and they want you guys to focus more on the song, listen to what. Well, it's that's playing. usually how it goes with kind of Disney movies, trailers, right? Okay. You hear the song, which was made by probably some young singer i don't know because i'm i'm old <laughs> i mean so, I, I late i learned lately who selena gomez is i mean before <laughs> like last week i was like who is that <laughs> who is that so <laughs> may, maybe because it's kind of disney-like maybe it's on purpose that's okay yeah, i understand be. where you're getting from crispy three years ago i thought taylor swift was a guy <laughs> <laughs> not to be confused with taylor lautner or somebody <laughs> I was like, it's not my music, so I'm not going to listen to it. And then they're like, that's Taylor Swift. I'm like, yep. what? Yeah, you, you just get those people in stream. Do you, do you know who this is? Who? Yeah, it's like, what? But she's super famous. I said, yeah. no, Spanish, <laughs> tell it, Listen, you just got to tell them when you're super famous and she's super famous, sometimes y'all don't, your paths don't cross. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to use it. that one, Corey. I'm going to use that one. Thank See? you very much. You gotta, like, when you say that, you got to say real low, like, uh, you know, copyright Corey. Say that. <laughs> 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 that's funny Gold bomb. <laughs> no you know what? um yeah you're right they didn't show i just saw here Corey. they didn't show no star wars world which i thought maybe they would i know they showed um Pirates frozen and world. tangled frozen tangled uh toy story we got some pirates you know, but uh, I, I, I thought for Ralph. sure we were going to get some they showed Wreck-It Ralph. I thought for sure they were going to show some Star Wars. Now, here's my question, because yeah. I don't know the timeline, because yeah. I'm not a huge follower of Kingdom Hearts. Did they acquire Star Wars before Kingdom Hearts 3 was ever started, or did they acquire it after? Because if they acquired it after, um, the story may I already have been there. Well, Kingdom Hearts, I mean, they've been in, it's been in development for many years now. Mm-hmm. Um, Definitely, it was it was in development before the acquisition. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. So that's my my assumption as to why there's no Star Wars because they probably were already well in development behind the scenes. 
that yeah. adding Star Wars may have been something that just wasn't in the budget or just wasn't within the script writing or whatever. You, you never know what crazy things are doing back there. That's my only but, reason that I would see it not being there. But, but I don't also, know. Steffi and Ryan both have good points that Star Wars is such a huge franchise. Mm -hmm. It's huge. So, like, I, I mean, you know, you got Final Fantasy stuff in there, but, like, at um, least each game is, like, self-contained, right? You know? Where, so, so they could put one without it having to be, like, the whole encompassing of the series. Star Wars, on the other hand, you take somebody from there and put them in there, or a world from there, you have a lot more to encompass and to, to really involve in there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like their own, you know, even I their own religions and their own followings and yeah. whatnot. I just read that Sony announced Kingdom Hearts 3 on the PS4 with the teaser back at E3 2013. So that was before Disney's that was, takeover. On yeah, Lucas. that was definitely before. See, so even though they do that, and this is from someone who's never played a Kingdom Hearts, I know that there's a what? gummy ship. Man. I, I mean... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's out of here. You know, go. <laughs> I've been banned. <laughs> but no, I, I know, like, hey, there's a gummy ship, and essentially yeah. it's flying through space, right? Right. Yeah. Like, even if they did it after the acquisition, they don't have to implement the entirety of the Star Wars franchise into it. They could just put, put some TIE fighters. Put something in there, because I know but a I, lot of people I, don't like the gummy part. I've I just heard think it would be people complain about it. I just think it would be hard to to uh like single out and and put something specific, you know, one small thing into it without upsetting a lot more people. Millennium Falcon. Well, but they they're doing that with uh I don't I forget what game uh that Microsoft is putting out as some kind of space flying game, and then in the Switch version you get to play as Fox McCloud. It's the same thing like that. Well, Star it's Starlink. Not. Starlink. Starlink. Oh, yeah, Starlink. But see, that's, I mean, that's a little different. I'm talking about, I'm talking about, like, an, a whole encompassing universe, right? An entire universe, not one, if they put, like, if Luke had a cameo in the game, I could, I could see that. And that's still probably something that we could do, that we could see. But a world, I think a one world dedicated to Star Wars would be tough to do. Yeah, yeah no, but I guess what, what Epic big. is going it's at is, like, during the around. space... During oh, the space right. scene, yeah, like having well, something on back. <laughs> yeah. Well, isn't back. like in the, in the previous games since I've been watching Rigo play, like aren't they like snippets of like the different movies in the worlds? Well, they're usually it's usually a world that's built around that whole thing, around yeah. like the movie or whatever. So it's but yeah. it's typically when you think about it, it's like frozen and tangled and all. They have their own world, but they're also and you know um, Tron has its own world. And Pirates is gonna have its own world, even though it, you know they've got a ton of movies, but it's it's not really. I, I just feel like Star Wars is a lot to encompass if you, and just to pick like and make one world based on, on Star Wars, and that's my opinion. I could be completely off base with the reasoning behind it or whatever. That's just it's a thought that I have. Um, that I just I feel like if they wouldn't be putting a lot more into it, if they put like four or five worlds based around Star Wars, you know, they could maybe do something. But I get what you're saying, Corey. I mean, look at the Star Wars franchise as a whole. Yeah. Nine movies now. Look at all the Netflix series that have all been successful, all the books. Like well, there is plus the universe itself, much. literally all of space and the different planets yeah. and the different things. That just to me it just seems like a crazy amount of things to it's pick something and build a world around it basically. Exactly. Like as opposed to regular Kingdom Disney Hearts. movies, it's finite. Like you yeah. have Toy Story, yeah, it's a yeah. Toy Story, yeah. So I get what you're saying, Corey. You get but you pick it up when I'm putting down. I smell what possible. you're cooking. <laughs> I smell what you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Ubisoft. They did a pretty good job. Um, yeah. Skulls and Bones. That reminded me the way the graphics were kind of reminded me of uh, Assassin's Creed Black Flag, like the whole ship area. Um, Yar, I'm, I'm actually I, I, I was watching the trailer today and I'm really interested and excited to try that like I want to play that game right because who doesn't want to be a pirate <laughs> so I gotta oh, I say <laughs> when I watched the trailer I still hadn't tried Sea of Thieves yet so I was like eh whatever like it's nothing that I'm super excited about it looks cool it looks fun but not really my thing I played Sea of Thieves now I've enjoyed Sea of Thieves which a lot of people don't like I, I like Sea of Thieves. Yeah, I, I like it. A lot of people think that it doesn't have enough, which I agree. I think it should have something more. Um, if Ubisoft is smart, they can wipe the floor with Sea of Thieves with this game because yeah. they could do everything they did in Sea of Thieves and then make it better. 
and with the yeah. more realistic graphics yeah. and the bigger battle systems, it looks like it's going to be pretty cool. Now that I've played Sea of Thieves, I really want to play Skull and Bones. <laughs> it did look interesting. Right? I never played a game right? like that. Exactly. Uh, especially the, yeah, the, the naval combat. Good. That really reminded me of Assassin's Creed Black Flag and Rogue. I was like, I really like that combat. Just shoot every ship you see. Doesn't matter if it's a man of war or a schooner. Doesn't matter. Just shoot it to bits. Hijack it. Plunder it. Sail off. Ugh. And that's what I like. Like in Sea of Thieves, the boats you see in the oceans are other players, right? Whereas here, yeah. it's like you're going to have to actually hijack ships. At least that's what it looks like in the trailers. That would be such a huge level of difference where it's like you're going to go and hijack yeah. the ship to take their stuff. You're not just being a jerk but, and that's, you know, grieving some other the, player. As they also showed, if it's a stronger ship, you can help for, uh, you can ask for help. Mm -hmm. So other players can come to you. So you, you hijack it together. You plunder it together. But then are you going to get stabbed in the back yeah. or not? And right? that is a thing, PvP-wise, that I'm very, very curious about and very excited about because I'm going to stab y'all in the back. I'm a pirate. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> Don't party with Crispy and confirm. <laughs> For sure. I want to see the world burn. <laughs> Yar, free Yar. world. Let it burn. <laughs> Where's the Black Pearl? <laughs> <laughs> Where's the Black Pearl? <laughs> Why is the rum gone? Where's the rum? <laughs> okay. <laughs> but yeah, I'm really excited. I'm definitely going to buy it again, try it out. and Me too. I, no, oh. it looks fun. It looks great. I'm yeah. excited. Are we going to, like I said, yeah, but, are we going to get what we didn't get with... Um... I've played more fun games that at first look, and then I was like, eh. Eh. Mm -hmm. eh. Well, with Black, so, with black with Assassin's Creed Black Flag, 90% of the time, I was just on that ship playing the music and going after all the, the, the I don't remember I what they're called. I kept Spaniard coming back guys. to one song in, the, in Black Flag, and that was the Johnny Bonker song. I still have that on my phone somewhere as, as a ringtone <laughs> for somebody because I was like, oh, this is my song. This is my jam. <laughs> this is my jam. <laughs> this is my jam. Oh, crazy! I can't wait. I'm I'm really excited for this. Yeah, I think I, I think they have a really good chance of like really humiliating uh, Sea of Thieves because yeah, they they can fix everything they did wrong with Sea of Thieves, which Sea of Thieves oh, still has sure. a, a chance with the DLC that they announced. But yeah. I think Skull of Bones has a real big leg up on this if they play their cards right. Yeah, no, 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 for sure. I agree. First sales and another one, I think. It was like two in one or something for yeah, the DLC. Yeah, it, it was two of them. I don't remember what they were called. Yeah, one is Cursed Sails, which is, has something to do with my flying countryman, the flying Dutchman. <laughs> <laughs> which is always a good Here thing. Be the flying Dutchman. <laughs> <laughs> no, the hard game is you want to Jones. <laughs> hey, I, I'm telling you, we were playing CFDs and we just kept going back to that. Ah. Let's go get the booty. <laughs> yeah, you like the whole time you just want to talk like a pirate. It's awesome. Yeah. yeah. Let's go get Epic's booty. What? <laughs> <laughs> when I'm gonna play that on screen on stream, I'm gonna put on an eye patch and a pirate hat and be like Captain Jack Sparrow. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta really be drunk. I mean, come on. Yeah, 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 oh, yeah. Oh, when, when we're gonna when I'm gonna play that game, there is gonna be Commit rum. to it, man. Well, beer, not rum. I don't like rum. <laughs> Commit. But it's uh, going to be a drinking game. That's for sure. Yeah. <laughs> the only um, thing you're missing is the, the beards. Make the, <laughs> you go. make the little dangly thing. Just, uh, yeah. just superimpose chat. <laughs> the, there is a costume <laughs> shop in, 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 in the city here somewhere where they sell epic beards. Oh, you got to do it. You got to do it. They sell I'm epic's beard? <laughs> epic's beard. That's not very yeah, expensive. Definitely. It's not very expensive. Um, Assassin's Creed Mario Odyssey. <laughs> so a little, a little embarrassment. I actually thought that that's what it meant because I was, uh, I was on Twitter, and they, uh, yeah, I, I swear. So I was on Nintendo. I was on uh, Twitter, and you know the channel, the No, the YouTube channel. Yeah. They they yeah, posted yeah. out uh, something about Mario, and it said, you know, the new Mario Odyssey game, Assassin's Creed Odyssey. So I was like, what is this? Like, is it? Because you know how they did crossover. Rabbids, right? So I was like, is this another crossover with Ubisoft? Like, are they doing Mario in Assassin's Creed gameplay? Like, what? I was really embarrassed when I realized I wasn't amazing. even close to that. I know Mario's part of the, uh, the Ezio bloodline. 
<laughs> right. <laughs> no, and honestly, I, I like that you're able to choose as what you want to play as, as a guy or a gal. I really mm -hmm. like that because normally it was like, okay, you're a man or in liberation, you're, you're, you're a girl. Uh, I really like that. And that they make the choices you make in the world, same as uh, pretty much any other Ubisoft game or no, sorry, Bioware game from like Knights of the Old Republic, that your choices affect oh. the world and the dialogue. I, really, mm -hmm. I like that concept. Mm -hmm. yes. um, um, but I think with also with Origins and now Odyssey, I think core as what Assassin's Creed was as a franchise because we all know you were in the modern world, you got stuck into some kind of computer, the Animus, and you got sent back through your DNA to relive the times from your ancestor. Mm -hmm. I don't, I haven't played Origins or finished Origins yet. I don't see it there quite with what it has to do with Templars and Assassins and uh, you bat, no, you bat, no, you bat, no, you bat. <laughs> but I think like they're kind of losing the story that I fell in love with playing those games. Yeah, see, and I heard that the, the new story, this is this is my concern, it's kind of the opposite, where I heard that the game kind of got burnt out after the second one, where it was just the same thing over and over again, kind of stretching out information that's not really there. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then they took that break and then released this and it kind of reinvigorated everything. Now, my concern is, are they now getting greedy because everybody loved the first one, like uh, Origins or whatever? That mm. now they're releasing another one the very next year. It's like, are they are they going to start doing the same thing and stretch out this gameplay until it's no longer so. fun? <clears throat> um, I must say, uh, Assassin's Creed Two uh, with uh, with the uh, Brotherhood and then Revelations. The story oh, as a whole, as those three games as a whole, was really good, but it was a bit of a stretch. Then they had Assassin's Creed Three, uh, which played in the in the Revolution of the United States versus Redcoats, which was really good. Then you went to the pirates, which was actually before the revolution. Mm -hmm. So yeah. the, the timeline is a bit weird Yeah, uh, with the time you're playing in, in the animus, but it's still connected to uh, the first couple of games because it was all through DNA of that one person, uh, mm -hmm. Desmond Miles. And yeah. then with, uh, now I'm going to think, with um, Assassin's Creed Unity, I think they went wrong with Unity. That's mm -hmm. where it went downhill in Paris. And yeah, I don't know. I'm not as much in love anymore with the franchise as I used to be. Yeah, I, yeah. Think, I think a big part of it is just burnout, right? Like, it's just game after game after game. Like, it yeah. doesn't give you that chance to really get excited for the next one. Uh, yeah. Because it's just, yeah. it's literally like, I, I just finished it a few months ago and there's already a new one coming out. Like, Mm -hmm. uh, and I'm scared that they're going to keep doing that. Like taking that year break made everybody excited for the new one. Yeah. And now it's exactly. like right away. It's another one. It's like, oh, you guys are going to burn these bridges even further. Like, yeah. but it looks cool. I really like the Roman thing. Like I've always liked Roman history. So Greek I, I, or Greek, sorry, Greek history. <laughs> um, So I'm excited to see it, but uh, I don't know. I don't know. I just mm. don't know. Exactly. No, I, you know, I like when I was looking at the, the battle system, I was, I was telling Louis that. She kicked the well. There was a female character. She this was doing a kick to one of the, She was kicking <laughs> someone, and it actually looked like there was a lot of power going into that kick. It felt strong. It felt. <laughs> I like that <clears throat> that they did that because before you just fought and you're kind of like, oh, okay, fighting, fighting, you're dead, done. But now it's like it feels like there's actually something, something to it. You fight, you fight, and then you hit. And you're like, yeah, that's a satisfying hit. Like I feel yeah. good about that. Mm -hmm. You know. The graphics look amazing too. Like they, they actually look nice, uh, in my in my opinion. You know, I I thought the graphics looked nice on Assassin's Creed. Yeah, I'm interested in trying it. I haven't bought Origins yet. I heard Origins was awesome. It looks beautiful. I just I can't pull the trigger on spending forty dollars on a game that I don't know if I'll like. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I did it with PUBG. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, awesome story, but went downhill real fast. Mm -hmm. <laughs> PUBG. But yeah, I, I'll, I'll probably get it, but I probably won't play it for another year because I still need to finish Origins and like a hundred other games. Yeah, that's how I am. I've got so many games to do. <laughs> Isn't that how it always so is? Many. Too many video games. I just need to stream all day, every day, because then I'll eventually finish some of the games. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. It's the only way. I'm backlogged. There you go. Get from uh, 85 on. Right? The Division 2. 
<laughs> Alright, who played the first one? Nope. Yeah, we I, I know. played parts of it. I put in a, a very unhealthy amount of time into this one. <laughs> um, like, I think I told y'all on the last podcast, me and a buddy of mine, we picked it up the same, uh, you know, when it launched, and um, unhealthily, we uh, we put like a hundred hours into the game in like a week. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Did everything possible and then some. Like, we got it to the point where if you've played the game, you know, like, the challenge mode. Uh, they had, like, only, like, three or four challenge mode levels every week or whatever. Or every day or something, whatever it was. We were doing them in, like, 14 minutes flat. Oh, my God. Wow. Like, it was stupid wow. how bad, how good we got at it. And, like, yeah. And then after, like, the first couple of weeks, they were kind of messing with some stuff and tweaking things and making things a little better. And then we just got super burnt out. But, Sorry, Megan. When number two comes out, you won't see Corey for a little bit. <laughs> yeah, I actually, I'm not. I'm not all that excited about the second one. Like, I really, not to mention every game I get that I'm super excited lately. I just end up not playing it. Mm. It just yeah, sits there. I'm, I'll play it for a little while, and then I'm like, ah, eh, well, never mind. <laughs> That's I what played number one for Kirby. a little bit with my brother, and then we stopped playing it for no reason. Like, not not that we didn't like it or anything. We just kind of moved on to something else. Now that I've seen number two gameplay, I've gone back and gotten number one with the uh, Game Pass. And I started playing with Lana again. I forgot how fun that game is. I don't see the differences because they said it was really bad when it started, like number one when it launched. And then it got way better. I don't remember what number one was like when it first launched. So to me, it doesn't seem any different. But mm -hmm. um, I'm, I'm excited for number two. It looks pretty cool. Alana really likes number one. So I'm hoping she'll really like number two. Um, but it, it looks cool. I, I think We're it's talking about the game. <laughs> <laughs> no um yeah like as long as we get actual reward systems i mean <clears throat> um last time all you ever got was you killed someone you got a beanie you killed someone you got a big fat coat you don't want a pair of chinos <laughs> <laughs> you kill someone in this one you get booty shorts yeah <laughs> and then epic potato chip shows up <laughs> 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 yeah, I mean, I, I hope it's good. I, I I gotta say though, it was I hate when they do those fake gameplay recordings. Like, yeah, they talk all professional, like they're actual professional players, and it's just like nobody talks that way. It's usually a lot of like uh, BS talking to each other Freaking and making fun of each other and yelling, and yeah, it's not like there's a guy right behind you. Thank you so much. Oh my it. gosh, you knew? Don't you see? It? Yeah, that's what it's more <laughs> yeah. like. Yeah. Why? Like that. That was just too unrealistic. I was just at your house with your mom. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> was my Cheerios over there? Or was my inhaler in my bag? <laughs> or there's always that one player. <laughs> boom, tick, tick, boom. Right, I thought I was going to jump in. <laughs> no, I really had a lot of people like, all right, guys, be right back. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, my yeah, gosh. Yeah. In the middle and of something. Then, and then you get at the end and, okay, guys, I'm back. But yeah. we did everything. Yeah, you didn't yeah. do anything. Or in my you get the reward. <laughs> if you and get then, car, then he mine. says, okay, thanks for the XP, bye. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, we'll see. I'm, I'm semi excited for that one. Semi. I, I'll probably pick it up just because it's multiplayer. I like multiplayer games, especially when a big group gets to play. So that, that, that's what makes me excited about it. Mm -hmm. So guys, it's that moment that we've all been waiting for. Yeah. Oh boy. It's that moment. Okay, we all right. roll, please. Are we ready? Resident Evil 2. What do you guys think? <laughs> <laughs> Why is Resident Evil 2 better than Smash Bros? <laughs> all right. Let's move on to what everybody's been waiting for. Nintendo. Ooh. All right. Nintendo hype, right? Yeah. Right? Nintendo hype. I'm going to skip the first one just because I know that's what everybody's waiting for. But Mario Party. They showed Mario Party. Hey. Dude. I'm really <laughs> stoked about that. I saw that it looks like they went back to the old, the old way, uh, not in that little car. Yeah, no car, <sighs> stupid. That car was dying. Oh, right? I know. And it looks like we're going back to the board. I mean, I'm really excited about it. I'm stoked. Um, so what do you guys think? Like, hey. I, I want them to implement online play. I think that would be a really so, good idea. So I, I was talking about this. Yeah, I, I was do. talking on my stream last night about it, and somebody said they looked it up, and, and Nintendo confirmed there is online. But this is how yeah. it's me that it's only for the mini games and not for. Yeah. I mean, not necessarily for the oh. board game mode, which to me sounds dumb. So like, you could go into a separate mini. You know, you could always play the mini games on their own. So like, 
you could only play the mini games online, but why wouldn't you be able to play the board game? Like, I feel like that's something you actually had to intentionally take out. <laughs> yeah, because right? if you've already got it there, why not enable it for the board game mode? Yeah, the, I mean, the uh, best this way is... to annoy somebody they take out. Yeah, uh, the, uh, apparently this is the thinking behind it is a lot of people that want to sit down and play online, they don't want to sit for two hours, which a lot of these games can take. Um, so they wanted to avoid that. I'm of the camp of they should give you the option of which one of the two you want to yeah. play. So then you can yeah. do the board game and you know you're getting into the board game and you're yeah. probably going to be playing with friends, right? So like, let's say us six are doing it. Yeah. We're all prepared to do it for, for an hour or whatever. And then they should give you the option of just mini games. Hopefully, they'll do some kind of patch and listen to the audience, you know, because Nintendo does that so much. Yeah. Um, hopefully, they'll listen to the audience and let them choose because I would really, really love to have like a streamer extravaganza of Mario Party and just have a bunch of us yeah. playing because I think that, that would be hysterical. awesome. Exactly. See, I'm, I have the, car the counter argument to the whole like people don't necessarily want to sit for, you know, two hours or whatever. Because I had this discussion regarding the uh, Mario Party Top 100 game on 3DS, because I thought that was so dumb also. They could have absolutely added online for that. And somebody was like, well, you know, they, people have to sit for two hours, an hour, or whatever. Every Mario Party game, well, I can't say every, but I don't remember necessarily all of them. But you, always, you usually get a chance to choose how many turns you want to play. Anywhere from, you know, like 15 or 5 or whatever in the older games up to like 30 or whatever. Mm -hmm. So that gives you a varying amount. Now, they could say, if you're playing an online game, maybe you can only do the, you know, five to ten turns or whatever. That way you're not sitting there for several hours, if that's, you know, if that's their, their thought process behind it. Mm -hmm. um, it should I mean, be an option, though. That's, yeah, and like I said, if, if you have it built in for the, the mini games, it seems silly to not at least include an option to do it for the, for the regular game, because it's like, you're... You're hurting more or losing more customers, I guarantee, losing more sales on it by not including it than mm. you would be by including it. Because yeah. people who don't want to sit yeah. for two hours online or whatever are just not going to do it. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and they, should have implemented, they could implement something like a bot system. So like, if somebody does drop out, a bot can just take over and then they could find somebody new to step in. Uh, and that was another Mario concern, Kart. right? They have that yeah. technology because it is exactly. a Exactly. Yeah, it is. Because you'll see, like, somebody will say they get disconnected, or, and it'll be like, but why is, you know, so-and-so still, still raising? Well, that's the bot now. Mm -hmm. And it's funny you brought that up, because that was, the exact, that was another thing we had talked about, you know, when I was having the same conversation about uh, the Top 100 Mario uh, Party, is that, yeah, if somebody gets disconnected, it kind of stinks. But again, they could just add a bot in. We know they can do that. They've already got that in place. Nintendo, as a company, has a game that does that. Yep. Yep. So, Yeah. That's my ramble about that. <laughs> <laughs> I, agree I think I think one of one of the the things that they might also be trying to avoid with the game the the board game is you'll get rage quitters, right? You'll get people yeah. like, oh screw it, I'm losing, I'm out of here. And then it kind of leaves like if you're playing one on one, it leaves you kind of just hanging there. It's like, well, I didn't get to win. You don't get the satisfaction of winning, and you lose halfway through the game. Um, I'm gonna assume that has to do something with it, but yeah. I'm sure there are things that they could implement to make it possible. Like even if it's just private games, you could do the board game. Yeah. Then you, then you know it's your friends, and you know they're not gonna do that. I'd be totally fine yeah. with that because I don't necessarily want to play random. Exactly. Like do the mini games exactly. with everybody, and then and then say you know you could start a private game online, and you can invite whoever you want in online and have the full fledged game online that way. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I think that would be the best way to handle it. Would be just to you add them to your friends list. If they're on your friends list, they can play with you. If if not, then oh well. Because yeah. yeah, you're not gonna want to play with a random person in this board game style game. No. Yeah, because so. the whole yeah. point of this game is to sit and laugh with your friends and make fun of them when you beat them or they make absolutely fun of you. exactly exactly. Yeah. And friendships while you're at it and stuff. Yeah, yeah absolutely. And never talk again for five years. <laughs> Until the next Mario Party comes out. So you need somebody to play with again. Okay, you go to friends weekend out a, weird, a year later. Hey, do you remember that Mario Party? Okay, party yeah. screwed. <laughs> Vacation's done. <laughs> it's the friendships in Mario Party, right? <laughs> Little has been really well, good. Uh, I think there's more friendship in Mario Party than friendship in Mario Kart. No, I don't know, because <laughs> while, while Mario Kart does give you ammo, literally, to attack your, your, your friends, mm. Mario Party is the same concept, only you're not necessarily attacking them at every moment. You're playing these, mini, these mini games competitively, you're stealing their items, you're stealing their stars. Oh, yeah. Yep. 
super competitive, and most definitely ending friendships. <laughs> like you don't you didn't Mario have to steal my star, but you did it anyways. <laughs> I always get Mario Kart at every oh, time I play that game. <laughs> Apart from when I play with my friends, because they all suck. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute, are you talking about us? No, okay. I'm talking about my real life buddies. My, my... Challenge! Wow, we're pretend buddies. We're I pretend. Know, pretend. Like... <laughs> You're my online family, bros. I remember when I was sub to you. <laughs> I remember Y'all's... when I was sub to you. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all super famous. All right, oh, man. And now for the moment of truth, the Ooh. one thing that everybody's been waiting for. Fortnite. Fortnite. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Well, I, I don't think Corey's very excited about Fortnite. No, no. he doesn't like it. He told me already. <laughs> oh, I think it's great. How many, how many gain, or how many tiers did you gain during this podcast? I, I haven't been playing. <laughs> <laughs> Not without I thought about it. No, no, I, I've been watching you. You've been looking down a lot. <laughs> phone. Switch is over there. Fortnite on the phone. Oh God. Oh, <laughs> nope. Busted. <laughs> Yeah. Wait, no, I, I think it's great. I, I'm glad that Nintendo finally took this plunge. Yeah, yeah. and you know what I really like? The fact that PlayStation is the one not allowing people to go in other systems, and Nintendo is allowing it. Nintendo, yeah. the guys they, that don't allow anything are allowing it. The guys it. that still yeah. live in 25 years ago. Yeah. Did they, yeah. Did they confirm that Microsoft can connect with Nintendo servers? Yep. yep. Yeah, yep. everyone oh, except oh, Sony. Oh, Sony wow. is the only one that won't, that everyone else can't connect to. Yeah. Oh. Whatever. Sony's well, holding my my account hostage because I logged in once for five minutes. And that's the big rage that people have is you do it and they don't warn you that this is going to happen. So you have an account that you may have worked on forever and you mm-hmm. don't have an Xbox. So you didn't have, you know, uh, the, the need to sign in somewhere else. So your PC is fine. And then you go to your Switch and you realize everything you've done is now down the drain because you can only use it yeah. on the PlayStation. Yeah, and, and that's where people are mad. It's like if you would have told me this was happening, I could have prepared, but yeah, you didn't. Exactly. So I have no idea. Yeah. Well, that was also because then, they had uh, a skin a while back that if you linked your PS4 to your Fortnite and your Epic account, you get. And of course, you can play it on the PC, but at the same time, that's like an intellectual property of Sony. Mm-hmm. And if they see that on the Switch, then that's a violation. Mm-hmm. So I know where they're coming in from that regards, but they're still jerks for doing it regardless. Yeah, they could have, they could have just made it unavailable when you were in other systems or something, right? Well, they were all they've, and they've been yeah. so worried about they've been so worried about their servers getting hacked again because you guys remember a couple of years ago when it was just hack, hack, hack. Oh like, yeah, oh, oh yeah. yeah, oh yeah. Every ten seconds, play online for weeks, and they don't and they don't want to do that again. Like, look at Nintendo and Microsoft servers. Mm-hmm. That's so easily hackable. The Switch <laughs> is completely hackable, portable. Like you can do anything to it, but no one's gonna hack. There, no one's gonna hack Sony through those systems if they're not linked to. Because mm-hmm. Microsoft doesn't even Microsoft doesn't even have a good security net either. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so yeah. that's what they're worried about. They don't want, they just don't want that to happen again. Because no, that's a I, PR firestorm. Yeah, it, I understand that, but still, like again, all that work, all that money spent on on battle passes and all that, and then I go in and I'm like, well, I can't touch the <laughs> the Switch version. What the heck? You know, not that I play it anyways on there. I mean, PC all the way, but. Again, it's just like, yeah, I mean, I'm glad. I remember when I played with you during one of your sponsor streams, I can't remember who it was. They're like, oh, link your system. You're going to get a free costume. And I almost did. Probably Nigel. Probably. (laughs) (laughs) And I almost did, and I forgot. Well, now I can use my account on my Switch, thankfully, because my my big draw to having it on the Switch is when my brother's playing, my consoles and everything are hooked up to my desk. I don't want to sit on my desk at like 10 o'clock at night to play. I want to just lay in bed and play. So I like the fact that I could just grab my Switch and just play without having to get up and set up everything to play. Yeah. Is there a way to unlink the system? As far as I know, no. I don't think so. I don't think so. I'm just wondering, yeah. Yeah. But You want to be be cool too, Corey? (laughs) Corey's playing Fortnite on the Switch. (laughs) No. He just, just wants to have that, the big headphones like everybody else. <laughs> <laughs> Although I think mine are pretty close to the biggest out of everybody's. Oh, I think so. <laughs> I think I got the biggest. <laughs> ones. Well, they are the most. Mine are, are almost. The eight mine are pretty large. large. Mine are gigantic, though. Like, look how big those cuffs are. Well, but I bought, them, like I bought them the for cuffs. the color. I bought them for the orange because gotta go with the channel. Colors. I like the orange too. Aww. 
you, I should have gone with orange. I bought this one. Oh, oh. <laughs> Dude, I like that one a lot. But yeah, I think, I think Fortnite on the Switch is going to be good as far as mobile. Um, just because look look at the mobile versions they have right now. And mm-hmm. they're coming out on Android in the summer, which is great because now Android players can play it. Mm-hmm. But yeah. I mean, I know you guys have always been a fan of Nintendo. They won back then with handhelds, Game Boy, yeah. Game Boy Advance. Yeah. Like everything, it's always been about mobile and it's always been successful. Yeah. Now that you can actually have Fortnite with controllers instead of using the touchscreen, it's going to be great. It's going to be wonderful. No, it's true. I mean, didn't they, didn't they say like something stupid, like 20 million people downloaded the game? Two million in the first day. Two million yeah. in the first day. In the first day. Right. Like in the After first day. That's huge. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I, little, I, I think as we speak right now, Little Man is at your house playing. Fortnite. Yeah, he is. He is. He asked me for the password for the internet. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, no, it's I, I think on Nintendo's part, it's good because it's the biggest selling game. So more people to play their switches. Um, and on on Epic side, the switch is one of the best selling consoles that's running right now. Where else would people want to play it? Like, it's just it's, it's win win for everybody. And the yeah, amount of people that are now going to be available to play this game, because I watch my brother when he does his streams, and most people are like, oh, I don't have a PlayStation, or I only have an mm-hmm. Xbox, and it's like, ah, but with the Switch, it's like, so many more people are going to be able to play now. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, what was I going to say, Steffi? He says, the kid has his priority straight, right? <laughs> and there, there's, there's a perfect example, Steffi. When I message her on, on Sponsor or wherever, be like, hey, what are you doing right now? She's like, oh, I'm playing Fortnite. I'm like, wow. I message Sir Nigel, what are you doing? Fortnite. Everybody is addicted to that Fortnite game, especially on the Switch. It's gotten very addictive. Mm-hmm. You know, it, and it's the Fortnite. whole portability thing. Yeah. You know, because like Corey said, again, um, he wasn't really interested in the game. And all of a sudden, he's messaging us saying, well, I'm going to play some Fortnite because it's super yeah. addictive on the Switch. I mean, I'm, no. not, I'm not interested <laughs> anymore. I played it when it came out the first day. Why the uh, pretty early access on the Battle Royale? Played it a lot. Played it on stream with uh, with another streamer. Played it off stream. I got my first solo in back in where January, and then I quit because <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. I'm not going to point fingers. But a, a, a certain streamer came onto my stream one day, said he was sending his hellos, and he's like, "But I'm trying to. What's the word? Um, when you're trying to." Oh, this has infected all the streaming community or something, was yeah, it? Yeah, something like that. Really? Mm-hmm. He said he was gonna. Oh, there's a word for it, but when you don't, want, when you're not gonna be a part of it, right? And then, not even after they announced it, he was already playing it on his stream. <laughs> so it's like, well, you can't do that. You can't turn around and and come onto my stream and say it was that not me. I can assure you guys, <laughs> it was Corey, guys. It was Corey. Don't believe his lies. <laughs> it was all Corey. Louis, and then, oh my gosh. Playing it, almost every stream you're playing it on your stream. I mean. I know if you hate the game, that's fine. But if the game, it just boycott. Thank you. Yes, you know that's what it was. Boycott. Yeah, it was boycott. <laughs> so it's like now you're turning around because it's on the Switch, because it's on Nintendo. It's perfectly fine, right? That doesn't see that it, it, the game's the game, right? Doesn't matter who yeah. what console it's on. But again, just to show you, just to show you how fast um something like Nintendo just doing that, it can turn somebody's mind about that game around just because it's on a nintendo console now. yeah Especially i mean i i see Switch. all the positives to it and i can i can speak about them but i'm i'm with crispy i'm not a huge fan of the game i i like it when it's like with a bunch of friends and you're goofing off but it's one of those games i can play three or four rounds and then i'm like i'm done i don't want to play this yeah. anymore like it's just i played it on the switch when when they announced it i downloaded it as soon as i got access to it and i played three rounds the third round 10 minutes i wandered around by myself first guy i saw killed me instantly and it's like i, I spent 10 minutes just wandering aimlessly and to me that's not fun <laughs> i like, do I just, that almost every match yeah <laughs> so for me it's like i don't i don't like the fact that it's like nothing and then everything happens and it's over and it's exactly like, but I, if you wander around aimlessly in a squad with like three other uh, it's three much other more friends, fun it's much more oh, fun yeah. mm-hmm. you can goof yeah, around but if yeah, you're exactly. doing solos it's like <laughs> and you get killed I'm out of here. Yeah, exactly. exactly. So no, for, exactly. Me, for me, it, it it's not sucks. a huge, huge game. Um, but I no. see what the appeal is. I see that yeah. it's they're doing everything right, and Nintendo is jumping right along with them. Yeah, exactly. of, course. Though, of course. I feel exactly. like Nintendo's going to get bit in the butt with this, though. You think because so? It, I do think so, and I think Epic's going to be the only thing that comes on top, only because I've played enough on the Switch now, and I've played enough on the PC, and seen enough of Xbox and Sony's play gameplay 
to where if you try really hard to snipe on the Switch, almost impossible. The, well, that's what every console, engines, right? the engines cannot uh, handle I, it. I sniped a couple of times. But okay, let me ask you something. If you see something in the distance, is it like juddering or is it smooth? That's true. I have it depends. That. It, it depends. depends. Yeah. Ever. There's definitely times when it's all like stuttery and juddery and all, and there's times it's perfectly smooth. Because Fortnite does run at a lower FPS on the Switch. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Yes. And that's yeah, gonna. I feel. Surprise. I feel like that's gonna make it so whenever the people who are playing on the Switch are gonna want to start getting better, they're gonna want to start getting wins, they're gonna want to start doing as much advantages as possible to win. They're gonna realize that they're being held down by the, li- the physical limitations of the Switch, mm-hmm. and they're either gonna move to another console or they're gonna get a new PC. Yeah. I mean, maybe I'm just thinking too far ahead in the future, but those kind of limitations, as far as trying to be a professional in a game. That's not ideal. Yeah, well, but, I think professional yeah, well, is one guys, thing, but... You guys remember when the PS4 and Xbox came out of that game, they were locked at 30 until they yep. finally did all the work and they got it running at 60. They can still do that with the Switch. Just turn around, work on it a little bit, adjust things, and ru- make it run at 60. And that's just recently that. happened too, didn't it? Yeah. No, I, I wish I could, I could play more. I can't log on to the Switch. It gives me an error message every time I log on. Oh like no! A, oh, geez. connect like your, your account Wi-Fi. doesn't work. <laughs> yeah, like, do Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi. Like, like you're infected with Sony. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta make a new account. Yeah. Well, no, no, I've never actually logged in on a Sony account. I've played it on my Switch, and then one day it was just like uh, error. This game cannot load. I've done it like six or seven times, or even re-downloaded the game, restarted my Switch. Just kept saying error, error, error. Logged on on my PC. All good. Huh. Try to get on the Switch. Maybe it's a Switch servers. And that's what you're getting for paying for Switch servers in the future. Oh, guys. I can't wait. Yes. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> All right, guys. That. <laughs> that's funny. Wow, we had a lot to say about Fortnite. I wasn't expecting that. Yeah, neither was I. <laughs> Me neither. Wow. And, that, and now we're not going to say about. I was going to say, now we're going to do this one and we're not going to say anything about it. <laughs> Smash right. Bros. or um, Nintendo Switch. Hey, <laughs> I'm out. <all> right. <laughs> Nintendo confirmed it's a brand new game built from the ground up. Nintendo confirms yeah, that. Oh, oh, where, where are you going, Epic? Everyone's going? here. Get back. Get back down. Sit down. Everyone's Sit down, here. <laughs> Except for Waluigi. <laughs> People are seriously upset. What the world? <laughs> what is going on over there? <laughs> <laughs> He's no, 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 apartment. <laughs> he almost Kirby. fell off. K- all that for Kirby. All that for Kirby. All right. No, so, but, like, McJell asked why Waluigi isn't in Smash Bros. And I saw a tweet today Waluigi is from, yeah, from Miyamoto. And it says, Waluigi will not appear in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. The man he is based on, my friend, Walter Luigi, threw up in my car last week. I will not. <laughs> <laughs> I will not put him in another game until he pays for my car to be cleaned and apologizes to my wife, who was also in the car at the time. That's <laughs> the there you have it, guys. That's <laughs> There's the end. Not in Smash Bros. I I'm I just it. I'm with Daddy Gamer. Like I just do not see like the hype for having now i'm also of the camp that i don't like if, if new characters get added that's great i mean it's always fun with new characters i'm okay with that i will never be a opposed it doesn't matter who it is they can add anybody in and i'll be like cool it's a new character i either will play as them or i won't it just does not bother me nope. i'm not offended by any means by waluigi not being in the game though because like well wow. no, he's, he is in the game he, he has the playable yeah. Trophy, so yeah stop whining he is in the game yeah exactly <laughs> there you go you know what they're gonna do? They're just gonna make Wario skin as Waluigi. <laughs> yeah, that that's the <laughs> deal. You're gonna be like, you want it? There you go. <laughs> hey, Alden, what's up? Hey, um, I do understand why people thought he would be, especially after they showcased Daisy as what? What? What, what did they call it an again? Echo Fighter. An Echo, Echo, Echo Fighter. Fighter. Exactly. Yes. So. I could see why people would be like, yeah, but why not make but, Waluigi one of those two? But Daisy, I, I at least. Daisy's at least more of a um, like a staple character, more of a staple character yeah, that, that than is Waluigi true. is. You know, I mean, but they could have just done it to appease the fans. I mean, it, at it's the end of the day, so much Daisy hype. This is what we all wanted in Smash. It's, 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 it's exactly what I want. we were talking yeah. about it last week, weren't we, Potato? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I think about Daisy all the time. I'm just like, I would love to play Smash with Daisy. I mean, 
but we need another peach claw. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I wasn't okay. I thought it was cool that they said, "Okay, we're adding all the characters all over from every every Smash Bros." That's cool. I like that. That's awesome. Yeah. Um, but I mean, they spent a lot of time for their conference. It was like five minutes of each game, and then the rest was all Smash Bros. Almost and twenty-seven it's like, minutes of Smash Bros. Right, twenty-seven minutes of Smash Bros. But it's again, like, what can you really show of it? You're gonna show the fighting mechanics that we already almost know, you know, the characters, we know all the characters. There was nothing really, I mean, I, I would have been satisfied with, we're getting all the characters, boom, 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 boom. Here's the game. There you go. Done. Let's focus on maybe something that we didn't announce. Like, new whoa, sponsor, new oh, sponsor. Hey, Mutley. Hey, Mutley. Everybody hashtag Mutley in the chat. Uh, what was I going to say? Um, <laughs> I would have distraction, but it, instead, <laughs> you know, because they could have focused on what happened to there it is. Welcome back to the Taco Supreme meal with it, people. Um, give it a sec, the music's playing. <laughs> 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 um, I mean, I would have been happy if they would have turned around and said, Hey, you know what game you guys would like to hear? What about Yoshi? You know, oh. they they talked about it. Never yeah. heard about it ever again. You know, right. sponsors go ahead and spam all the emojis. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm I'm excited. It looks nice. It looks a little bit more detailed. I mean, how much more detail can you add to that game, right? I'm in love with the it music. It does look beautiful. They they need to have it be eight player multiplayer though. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. they that was missing in the Wii U, and I didn't even know that until I got back into it with the kids and stuff. I'm like, yes, eight players. We go online. Uh, no, four players. Yeah. Uh, they, 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 like, for a moment, I thought we were still talking about Yoshi. And I was <laughs> no, because like, you know, eight player you know, multiplayer on Yoshi not that seem was, like it would be effective. If you, Yoshi. Go back, if you go back to my stream when we hit, I think it was 500. When we hit 500 subs, I did a tournament, Super Smash Bros. There was eight people on that screen. It was fantastic. <laughs> And then, like, a couple of months ago, I'm like, hey, let's play some Smash Bros. We do it, and it's like, um, there's only four player? What happened to tournament mode? <laughs> yeah, because they discontinued yeah. that after a while, right? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, think, I, like, I, think that was, I think that was a stupid thing to do. And if they it do was. it again, uh, the hype is like, <clears throat> bye. Because yeah. I would love to play, like we do with Mario Kart now on Fridays, I would love to play Smash Bros. Yep. with y'all. I've already brought that up a couple times. <laughs> exactly. Hoping to get hoping. I'm really hoping for a tournament mode, a la, you know, the Mario Kart method with code, where we can yeah. set it up yeah. and set up a code and have it maybe reoccurring, things like that. Um, it definitely could happen because it's still a Nintendo game, and I see no reason why they couldn't do something right. just like that. Um, but yeah, I've been hoping for that too because I was I was thinking of switching it up, and then if we can, if something is like that. Uh, if they have something like that, we can switch it up every week or something. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, for sure. No, and I, I mean, again, I, sure. I'm, I'm, I like Smash Bros. I'm not. Yeah. I'm gonna say I don't like it. I love Smash Bros. I enjoy it very much. Right, with yeah. playing with viewers by myself, I can play for an hour and then I'm like, okay, I'm done. <laughs> yeah, I don't even play that long usually. If I'm. Well, it's, yeah, one, no. yeah, it's one of those games where it's like if your friends are good, you can you can deal with it. But when you're playing with like random people that just destroy you, it just takes out the fun of the game. Yeah, exactly. I, 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 played it. I bought Here's it for the, the 3DS, and I played it for like, uh, and I think the, I played it for three days, and then I never touched the 3DS version again. It's just and, and sitting I, in its box. I remember the 3DS version, demo it. version, it was not good. I had the I same with Hyrule Warriors. You know what, like, um, the, one of the biggest issues I have with it when you're playing on, well, this happened to me, live stream, you got two people who pick Ness, and all they kept doing was spamming PK Fire over PK and fire. over and PK over fire. and over again. And then when they finally destroyed all of us, both of them just sat there rocking their heads back and forth. And it's like, <laughs> can you do something? Because we're not going to sit here for an hour watching you rock out. Oh, yeah. You they know? Will. But they will. They will. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. They will. Sorry, I got to go for the night. Have fun. With... Uh, no, Fran, you have to stay here. And Bye, Fran. Yeah, you have to stay, Fran. Fran, you're not allowed to leave. You're not allowed to leave. All the GGs. <laughs> yeah, I wish <laughs> I would have talked more about, like, other games, but they they only went in depth on Smash Brothers. Mm -hmm. Exactly, in depth. To New the facial of... expressions for Donkey Kong. 
and, and it cracks, you know, the, the Omar's helmet cracks and repairs itself. And come on, those are super important features you got. But that, okay, but okay. The issue with that is that's like Sarcasm. telling you what you're getting for Christmas. You know, yeah. Part oh, yeah. Of a new game is finding those little things. Exactly. Yeah, but okay, here's, the, here's the other like, thing. Here's you know, the but but they know that the stuff's gonna get out. They know the stuff's gonna be leaked out anyway. Why not? Why not have them just do the presentation and tell you about? It? I mean, I guess so. That is a good point. I'm not happy with it, but I can understand why they would do that. You know, but who knows? We might still there still might be a ton of stuff that we don't know about the. Game. It might just be because they had nothing else to talk about. I'm 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 yeah. part of that camp. I think that there wasn't yeah. anything else to talk about. I even told the brother from the start, like once once all the big guys were done and we were waiting for Nintendo, he's like, I don't think there's anything that they're gonna have that's gonna be mind blowing. And yeah. and, I, and we called it from before. I'm like, it's gonna be Smash, and it's gonna be almost all Smash. You tell me Fortnite wasn't yeah. mind blowing. <laughs> I mean, they, just, they did also Xenoblade Chronicles no, but, two, which I'm excited about. But I'm excited yeah. about that. I've me been too. really hooked yeah, on number too. one. Yeah, yeah, me too. I can't believe number really one is excited. like ninety dollars. Did you guys know that? Yeah, ninety dollars. Yeah, so it, it's because cool, it's week. a GameStop exclusive. Oh. <laughs> this game right here for the Wii. Yep, that's wow. ninety dollars. Ninety dollars. Yeah. Well, it doesn't retail. That's not retail. That's basically that's what you can retail. find it on. You know, like yeah. not that much. But I, really so many copies I really like it. it. Hey, you know one thing we haven't talked about, by the way, which I, I put on is Octopath Traveler. Mm. Yes. Yes. So um that demo is pretty sweet. <laughs> Brand new demo. <laughs> that demo. Is this really cool? Yeah, like I, I really enjoyed the demo. I you know what I love the game. I love what they're going with it. It feels nice, it looks nice for like a bunch of pixels. <laughs> it does look nice. You know, and the fi- the fighting mechanics, I really enjoyed them. I think it's gonna be one of those games that is probably gonna win a lot of people over. I mean, they're doing a really good job with it. I'm excited for it. Yeah, I still need yep. to play the demo, but I'm looking forward to that. Good definitely going to grab. Definitely going to go grab that. All right, yeah, well, I'll probably grab it. I'm a huge, you. I'm a huge RPG <laughs> fan, so I'll probably end up too. Playing it. They're... I got the collector's edition on pre-order. Oh, nice. oh and I think what else they gave us? Uh, what Fortnite? Not Fortnite. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Fortnite. 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 This is this is the last podcast where it was always Nintendo, Nintendo. Yeah, now it's Nintendo, Fortnite, Nintendo, Fortnite, Fortnite, Fortnite. Fortnite. Hey, you guys, talk about that game Fortnite, right? <laughs> no, they gave us Fortnite. Fallout Shelter, not Fortnite. Oh, Fallout Shelter. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. They gave it on the on the on the Switch on the Wii. U, I was gonna say. I had so many people asking me if I've ever if, what a new Wii. If I tried it. I've never even tried the first one, like the original one on the mobile or whatever. I did. I played it on mobile and then on my computer. Yeah, I'm, I'm playing play. on the Switch right now. Like right now, while we're how rude? How wow, so rude? With my feet. Rude. <laughs> <laughs> With my mind. Wow. I was gonna say, um, you know what? I was surprised I didn't talk about a lot of is Pokemon. I thought we were gonna hear a lot about that. Yeah. And because I thought we were gonna hear a lot well, about the main line. They game. they talked about it in Treehouse Live. I watched the conference or I watched the Treehouse Live version again today to write some things down. It's like yeah, full page. But um well, just some things, just some things. <laughs> you just write something, just a little bit. <laughs> oh, a little song. bit, just a little bit. Uh, but yeah, um, they announced they already announced Smash Bros for this year, uh, with the direct. Wait, they and... did? <clears throat> no, no, no. Let me finish. <laughs> <laughs> not... Don't make me grab my fan. <laughs> <laughs> No, they already uh, mentioned two mainline games, which is which, which would get people really hyped. And uh, Metro, Metro, that's I think that's why Metroid and Yoshi didn't get mentioned because they're just planning ahead for their sales for next yeah. year. Um, but yeah, with with Smash and Pokemon, people were already like, "What? Where? <laughs> when? Take my money!" Exactly. So they they keep the things. But we're going to talk about that later for later last uh, next year. But mm-hmm. with Pokemon, I'm actually re- really looking forward to to Pokemon Let's Go. I don't know if I'm going to go with Pikachu or Eevee because I hate Eevee. I, I like Umbreon and I don't like Pikachu at all. What? Because yeah, how do you not I like? Wow, can you leave? I please? don't like <laughs> Pikachu. <laughs> 
<laughs> this is like the second time we've asked you to leave. There will be not. There will not be a third. <laughs> <laughs> no, even in no, Pokemon but... Yellow, I speak at you out because it's just rubbish to play. You cannot even evolve either your Pikachu or your Eevee, so that sucks. Really? Wow. Yeah, really? that's. You cannot, you cannot evolve your Pikachu or your Eevee. As that's the whole point I, of it. As I heard, as I heard. That's what I've it heard was... too. I've also heard that there's there's a chance that some people are thinking that it might be like the original games, where the only way to evolve uh, uh, Pikachu was by trading them away and then trading them back, and then that would allow them to evolve. So people are hoping that's what they'll do. But yeah, I've heard the same thing that it's not going to evolve. So that's yeah, a bit of a bummer exactly. for a lot of so people. So what's going to happen with Pikachu is it's going to end up in my computer box, and uh, yeah, see you later. <laughs> uh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. No, you know what? Like since I, Generation One doesn't have the best Eevee evol evolution, Eevee's going to end up in the box too. Okay, but we don't know that it's only going to be Generation One. We back in in the region because the thing is. You're going to be able to you're going to be able to trade Pokemon and stuff, send Pokemon back and forth like Pokemon Go and all. So From whatever they have, one and their Alolan counterpart. Is that all that's in Go? I don't know. I haven't played Go. Well, before. Pokemon Go has uh, it's in Gen three now with some Alolan types like the the executors with like a huge neck. Um, but you can trade those over. I don't know if they will look like the Alolan version. That wasn't shown, but you can at least trade them because they're also Pokemon from Generation 1. And yeah. they have a different look to it. So I don't know if you're going to send that Black Rotata. Oh, uh, if it's going to look like the Black Rotata, that it's a dark type instead of just a normal type. Uh, that wasn't shown. That oh. wasn't shown. So we but will find a, that Maybe you, because you watch the Treehouse, maybe you can answer this. The the Pokemon you find in the grass is it only to catch or can, is it, is there original fighting? Did they mention that? Uh, the Pokemon you see in the grass is only to catch. Oh wow! Yeah, the yeah trainer the trainers. battles, the trainers, the trainer battles, gym battles. That is just classic fighting, like we are known uh, by Pokemon. It's the same as every other game, but the catching mecha mechanism is the same as Pokemon Go. You can use the Joy-Con to just throw it like upward, up hand, low hand. You can uh, adjust it so you can yeah. even make a curveball from the side or whatever. But it is this game is meant to connect the current uh, Pokemon players and the Pokemon Go players to connect them to make them all well interact and get together to make it one huge Pokemon group and make them all hyped for the next uh max mainline pokemon game yeah no daddy gamer has a question he says is this a full kanto game i don't know what it means i'm not a big pokemon player so i have no idea well that's the first region right mm -hmm. the kanto is the first region so yeah. this is going to be the full kanto yeah game it's oh, okay. pretty much see it as a remastered version of pokemon red blue yellow i oh, think that's okay. a good way to see it I, I would venture to say remake rather than remastered Remake, yeah, remake. Yeah. remake. I was <laughs> talking about that too. Yeah, not not to be splitting hairs, but I, but there's no, a good... no, 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 no. You're right. No, no, no. You you make a good point. There. Yeah, yeah. Um, because it's because it's not like they're you know because the mechanics are totally different. In this case. Yeah. You know, yeah. even the regular battles, which are limited to trainer and gym battles, are going to be different because you can you can use a second yeah. player playing with the second Pokemon. Yes. You know, yeah. at the same time, which to me is actually one of the coolest parts. But I can't see this game from what I've seen. It does not look like a $60 game. And GameStop has it reserving reservable for $60, which bothers me a little bit. Mm -hmm. Unless there's something they're not showing us yet, like a lot of content or a lot, you know, because right, as of right now, I, like I want to get into the next mainline game because I, I, I like Pokemon. I just haven't been, been into it lately. Mm -hmm. But this one does not seem, does not really interest me at all, to be honest. Now that is that is what I just said. This is to connect the Pokemon yeah. Go player friend uh, fan base to the mainline game, and that's why they put the the Pokemon catching mechanism like yeah. in Pokemon Go instead of just swiping it on the screen. You just use the Joy-Con to throw it. Yeah, and yeah. I prefer to fight for my Pokemon because same. I don't I know, fight. Just, just throwing a ball, you right. know. I don't want to throw five hundred thousand Pokeballs at Mewtwo's face. To catch it that just sucks and yeah, i know you sure. like in pokemon go you can use a, use a raspberry or, or another berry to make it more easier to catch but still hey, I, like... I love to get that rare pokemon and then use one ability and then it's like critical hits you're it's dead and i'm like crap 
<laughs> Crap. Exactly. <laughs> hey, it's, like, it's like it's like Steffi said here, you know, rip to grinding because if you're a low level, that's what you did. You went into the grass, yeah, fought a bunch of Pokemon, boom, there you go. True. Um, it does. They do have if you catch a Pokemon, it does still give experience. Pokemon in your party. You turn probably experience share on or off. It does get more uh, XP for that. So it's not like it's complete waste of time to catch them. Mm -hmm. uh, it, they also have auras. Uh, one, some Pokemon have blue auras or red auras. The red auras is that the Pokemon is bigger in size. Blue one is that they're smaller in size. So it's a little special. I don't know if it does anything. It wasn't mentioned. It's just like Pokemon Go, you got XL Pokemon and small Pokemon and all that stuff. But yeah, I, I want to know more, and I think the Treehouse lacked a little bit of that. They did mention a lot. Uh, let me check my notes there, though. Um... <laughs> While you check your notes, um, going back to what you said about how it's uh, it's um, to link Pokemon Go players with, with the mainline players, mm -hmm. I heard a rumor, I don't know how true it was, I just heard it in passing, um, that one of the guys working on Pokemon, I, I don't know if it was the creative director or somebody said that this is like, the newbie Pokemon, but the one that's coming out next is going to be for hardcore players, and anybody yeah. who's never played Pokemon should not play the new one because they're oh. going to be in for a shock for how really? how like how hardcore it's going to be for for real Pokemon players, right? So oh. it's, I don't think it, I like that. And people are like, it's <laughs> it's uh it's to appease the original <laughs> players, right? Because a lot of people are like, I'm not happy. This is like the the baby's version of Pokemon. I want yeah. like a real Pokemon game. So. They think that he's saying this to kind of make people feel better. That no, there's yeah. something real coming out. It's just this is to kind of help bring new people into the world as well. How many more new people do they need to bring in? It's one of the biggest franchises in the world. Money, money, yeah. money, money. Who cares? More and more, more. Yeah, if there's more people that haven't played it or that aren't playing it, there's more people to bring into the series. Yep. yep. I understand that. But exactly. you don't do that by taking all of EV's evolution, evolutions away. Yeah, and, uh, yeah. What's yep. I bet fun? you they do. It's, it's, it's an evolution game. Pokemon. That is the type it is. Evolution Pokemon. How are you going to take away all that stuff? That's. I'm that's curious fun. to see though if in the in this game if there's going to be Mega Evolution in it because Mega Evolution was in, in X and Y. That's where it started, and with Sun and Moon they got rid of it and they got the Z moves. But I'm not a fan of the dancing thing. I know it fits the whole. Uh, Hawaiian theme that Alola has, but I would really like my Charizard X. Charizard <laughs> <laughs> X. What was I gonna say? Um. All right. Well, now we get to what. Uh, let's talk about what wasn't shown at E3 because there was a lot of games that I was hoping they were gonna talk about, they were gonna show, and they didn't mm. show anything. So Final <sighs> Fantasy VII. They talked I've about it. And we didn't get even a little, another little trailer, anything for Final Fantasy VII. What do you guys? <laughs> Steffi just said it in <laughs> chat too. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, 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 I was beyond expecting at least something from Final Fantasy VII, um, because we we got something last year, and then we got a bunch. Of, we got flooded with screenshots, and we got flooded with yep. even a little video after, like past E3. Mm -hmm. Um, and so I figured we had to get something because they showed us the battle system. They showed us the flipping battle system. I mean, that's progress. That's something substantial to show. Mm -hmm. Why would you not show us something now? It's actually quite concerning. So my, my logic behind it, like what I'm thinking is happening because I've heard that they actually scrapped everything that we've That's seen. what I heard too. Yeah, so I think that they're at a point right now where they have nothing. Like it's they they they're yeah. in the preliminary part of programming. I don't know enough about programming. Chadley, you can correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but you know, there's there's things that they're working on that they just can't show. So I think I yeah. think instead of worrying everybody by showing something, they tried to not show anything, so people would kind of just not worry about it. But I think they did more damage than good because now everybody's like, "What's happening? Like, what, why oh, yeah. is there nothing?" Because exactly yeah. what you said is exactly what I was concerned about, and, and I had heard something a little like that, just you know, as well. Um, but the lack of anything, because they showed us, we got such a heavy dose of it last year. Even you know after E three and all, and then you show us zero, nothing. Yeah, that to me is more concerning than if they were to be like, "Hey, by the way, 
you know, now we've scrapped the last two or three years worth of work because this is not the first time they've done that now. Mm -hmm. We're expecting that, oh, we have one more thing. That's what, yeah. you, what you were expecting. Yeah. Then it was exactly. like nada. They could have showed me an eight second trailer like they did in Octopath. There you go. What yeah, happy just with that? something. Just something. Just something. Yeah. Exactly. You know. Show me um, you're still working on it, even if it's a you scrapped it. We're yeah. I mean, if you scrapped it, it they, exactly. they should have just confirmed. Like, okay, we acknowledge we scrapped it. Here's a yeah. little teaser of what we are working on that is going to be different, and then yeah. leave it at that. Even if exactly. it was an eight second clip. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. You know what? Uh, I'm just gonna throw it out there. Why didn't they show Claire in Resident Evil Two Remake? My God. <laughs> <laughs> the real outrage right here <laughs> that's the real outrage no um, something that i was actually expecting to hear from nintendo and because there was a lot of again there were just rumors but there was a lot of that going on and we didn't hear nothing maybe it's not going to happen but i was hoping to hear a new or a report of mario maker for the switch so and, well and i was really hoping because i know that they did bring out a report saying that um that we that they were working on testing different things, testing different graphics, doing slopes, and that's all they mentioned. But we can get not even a little. Hey, look, we are working on this. Yeah, but we don't need to think about it for a moment. Think about the fact that Mario Maker is basically keeping the switch. I mean, the, um, the Wii U alive right now, keeping it afloat, right? Barely, but it's keeping it basically afloat. Um. I mean, look at people like me and Crispy. We both bought we use just for Mario Maker. Yep. Um, okay. And while I would just like all you, just like you guys, I would love to see a port or a new game or whatever. The, I think the the smarter thing to do is to wait until at least some of the um, the, the 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 attention is a little bit off of the uh, off the Switch a little because the Switch is doing very well. The Switch is yeah. moving very well. It's selling great. Um, there's not a shortage of games, like people wanted you to believe for a while. There's not a shortage of new stuff coming out or whatever, announcements about it. So I don't think it should necessarily be a lifeline, but I also just think that if people are still continuing to play it really hard on the, on the Wii U, let's let that go on for a little while, and maybe next year we announce when some of the traction has slowed down a little bit, we can then announce it on, on the Switch, and people are going to go like, ah, reinvigorate. Well, to be honest, it is a lifeline. Like, any any time Nintendo would come into financial instability, let's say that, they could just drop a Mario game. That's all they need to do. Yeah. It doesn't matter yeah. if it's on a handheld. It doesn't matter if it's on a console. You want a Mario game? You want to make some money? Boom, there you go. Yep. So, like, yeah, Corey's right. They don't have to. I they mean, don't. the same thing with Zelda. Of course, we're not going to see anything Zelda this E3. Same thing no, with Mario. We just got that. Odyssey. We just got a DLC. We're not going to see anything. They can take this time to do a little more risks. Reach out to yeah. more third-party companies. Reach out to more indie developers. Once, like Corey says, it starts to decline because there's just oversaturation or just quality of games aren't as good because Nintendo is not always the best judge of filter. <laughs> what? They'll just what? be like <laughs> Mario Odyssey 2 or Mario Maker 2 or Zelda Breath of the Majora's Mask. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I like that. That was good. <laughs> That's the, the game I want. And you know what? It's true. I, I, I agree with you, Corey, 100%. And with you, Epic, you guys make good points. You know. <laughs> I'm still bummed about it, though. It, oh, yeah. I'm, yeah, I'm still it. bummed about it. You know, I mean, you know, you want to know, I... know how to make it come faster? Let's just all stop playing Mario Maker. Okay. All right. No more Mario yeah. Maker on our channels, guys. Hashtag no more Mario Maker on stream. <laughs> Done. Nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> guys Corey's like, nope. <laughs> Everyone does the best on my channel. Yeah, y'all just because... gonna sign on Sundays tomorrow, guys. Because the Switch is still so hot, they yeah. want to keep it hot and going. That's why we didn't saw anything related to Metroid or Yoshi, because those are just two mainline games. I know some people are like, yeah, Yoshi, and other people are like, wow. So, yeah. <laughs> Wait, other people are like, what? What are other people like? Wow! <laughs> That's funny. Wow. So, wow. They, okay, I'm they, not gonna lie. They, they want thing... to keep it hot and going. That's why yeah. they want to keep it. They hot, kept hot, it hot. with Pokemon and Smash Bros for this year and next year. They're probably gonna show some Metroid. They're gonna show the next yeah. Pokemon installment. Maybe a little. I don't know. Maybe a Zelda remake or 2D Zelda. I don't know. But they want to keep it as hot and popping as going. You know, keep 
keep it going, keep it going. So they don't need to throw it all out there. Exactly. They are doing it really, really well, I must add. Because when the Switch came out, we only had a couple of games. It, there was a lack of games. And look at it now, man. Look at it now. It's true. Ubisoft, it's true. Ubisoft third parties and name it, it's, it's really doing so well. Absolutely. I want to see some Captain Toad. <laughs> <laughs> well, I thought they had, they had released something on Captain Toad. Did they not? There was no yeah. info, I don't think, right? I, 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 they, just, I mean, they just had it in that little sizzle reel. I yeah, think. but I mean, it comes out like, yeah. like very soon, doesn't it? Yeah. I thought next month or this yeah. month. Yeah, very yeah, soon. I think, in, I think it's July. <laughs> oh, so how about that Lobo? We didn't hear anything about Lobo at E3. Lobo. <laughs> Lobo, yeah. Oh, the, the Lobo uh, thing? The yeah. cardboard thing, yeah. It's like it came out, and now they're like they they're like okay, yeah, we yeah, won't we talk about it. it anymore. We had it. it; was it was okay. All right. <laughs> July thirteenth, Captain Toad for the Switch. What about uh, Animal Crossing? Nothing was mentioned about that. See, that's, Are you guys true. into Animal Crossing at all? Mm-hmm. I'm not. I've heard a lot it. of people were really upset that there was no Animal Crossing. Yeah. Did they yeah. mention something about Luigi's Mansion be- coming to a Switch too? Also, like. I know they're bringing other remakes for for the 3DS, but then they mentioned they were making one for the Switch as well. Animal Crossing and Luigi are, mm-hmm. are games that can hype people for the Switch, so of course they're not going to throw it out there. Maybe maybe yeah. they could tease it, but I would see a Animal Crossing or a Luigi's uh, Mansion game more teased at a direct somewhere in I don't yeah. know maybe next year's March or something than yeah. at E3 because they already had big titles going. So that, yeah. of course they're not going to do that. Well, you mentioned you mentioned the Nintendo Directs, and if if you notice, like Nintendo, like since they do that throughout the whole year, like E3 is like I don't know. I get this impression that Nintendo is just like E3 is not really that important to us mm-hmm. because we do it throughout the whole year. So like yeah. we strategically decide when we want certain games that are we know are going to be big titles. And, show and we that just off. we show them off whenever yeah. we want because exactly. we do these directs like every quarter. Every, so yeah, exactly. I I agree on that because if you looked at this it's Nintendo's E3 here, there was a lot of talk about Smash Bros because that was the hype game for this E3, right? Everybody was yep. hoping to see more details. Is it a port? Is it a, is it a new game? So I think Nintendo is just using E3 to show off uh, the games that they already teased in a direct. And just and tell more about it. Same they with were, uh, and they were well. They were sorry. They they were playing that that version at the tournament, right? Like when they yes. did the Smash Brothers tournament, they, they weren't did. using the Wii U version. They were nope. using the new one, which yeah. is maybe why they maybe that explains why they wanted to show so much. Could mm-hmm. be. Yeah. Could be. I mean, but that, that was realistically the main game there. For the, oh yeah, no doubt. Even their demo booths, it was mainly Smash. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, Nintendo is doing that really smart. Uh, they're really thinking ahead, planning ahead for the future, and they're hey, doing you know really what? good. They 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 brought themselves out of a out of a terrible slump. I mean, they were yeah. failing. They brought off a terrible. I mean, they they really messed up with the Wii U, and they're making sure they don't do that with the Switch. And I have to say, it's working. Oh, it's it, working great. It really is working. You know, that's, you know. what, that's what happens in Nintendo all the time. They've always been a company that goes up and down. I mean, of course, NES, SNES, 64 was great. Virtual Boy crashed. GameCube crashed. You know, this is just something that Nintendo's always been used to, and they've always been able to pick themselves up. The Wii U, I mean, the Wii, I know you guys have probably seen the GIF of it. It prints money. And that mm-hmm. was the truth yeah. between the Wii U, I mean, I'm sorry, yeah. the Wii and the DS. They were, they were literally the second biggest grossing company in Japan. Yeah, mm-hmm. because of those two things, and then you know the GameCube tanked them a lot. The Wii U tanked them a lot. Now the Switch is pulling still, them back. Still, the GameCube up. wasn't yeah. that bad of a console. It really wasn't. At least I believe it, it wasn't because you had good games. Wii U was Prime. partly bad marketing. Wii U, because when I first heard about the Wii U, I thought it was like a Wii 2.0 something like mm-hmm. that. Mm-hmm. But it was a completely different console, and it a lot of people who I spoke to about Wii U thought the same thing. So maybe they should have, I don't know, named it differently. A lot of people that I talked to about the Wii U back when it was first launched, a lot of people that knew about the Wii, they were confused because Nintendo focused so much on the gamepad. 
Yeah. Mm -hmm. People thought that, mm -hmm. that was a la like an add-on. Yeah. Like it was something yeah. that they were going to like, oh, you have a Wii, yeah. you can get this tablet type controller that will allow you to play all these new types of games on your Wii. Like that's how it was marketed almost. Yeah. And they didn't I, really I have people actually tell me that. People who not big gamers but you know like had kids and they had a Wii and I had I had a friend of mine literally asked the Wii U was an add-on for the Wii. And I kind of laughed and I was like, are you serious? And she was like, yeah. And I'm like, oh, <laughs> well, no, it's a totally different thing. And she's like, oh, because it looks like an add-on. I was like, I can see that, you know? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Exactly. So that's what I said. I think Wii U was marketed really bad. Oh, yeah. Especially with yes, the name, sure. because I thought it was for the Wii as well at first. And I'm not the only one, thankfully. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't feel stupid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm just glad Nintendo's opening up the doors for third parties to to be a part of it now. Like they're they're enticing third mm. parties. Yes, what I think was a huge, huge like issue for them as well, along with the marketing. Is no third party wanted to work with Nintendo. Like nobody right. wanted to deal it with was them. Really they difficult. Were... No, it exactly. right. had to do with the gamepad constantly, yeah, and exactly. not a lot of third parties wanted to do that. And with yeah. Twitch, and not well, to mention you Nintendo use it. Yeah, but and, and you don't have mention to mention Nintendo's like old barbaric ways of manipulating everything that happens through their consoles. Yeah. When you could mm -hmm. go to PlayStation and pretty much do what you want, and they're just gonna let you. Um, yeah. I think now that they're opening up with the Switch and allowing a lot more to happen, it's bringing a lot more, and it, that makes me extremely happy to know that the Switch is bringing life back to Nintendo and making Nintendo something to actually consider now. Whereas before yeah. it was like, yeah. yeah, I've got an Xbox. Oh, I've got a PlayStation. We've all got a Wii, but whatever. Uh, but <laughs> now it's like no i've got a switch like the people are really like serious about it which is really really nice i'm I'm so happy about that right mm. yeah definitely they, they did better too they gave the third developers options of do you want to use the joy cons mm -hmm. or do you want to just make a regular game they didn't do that the way you they're like we want you to use this yeah. gimmicky yeah. heavy yeah. pad yeah and i want you to make a game based around that and everyone's like nah bro nope. yeah exactly. nah, I'm, good. Nope. I'm good nope that or the developer actually i've heard i've seen i've read about other developers saying well we just couldn't come up with any ideas that could use it in a way that they felt was engaging and new and fresh like like star fox like, was is that all they wanted to do is just make a regular game put it on the system you play with the controller just like you always do what you could do, but then what's the point of having that screen then? So exactly. I like Mario Kart. At least you got to use your. You, can... <laughs> the, you got the, the horn. Track. <laughs> the track. You could have Mario Kart on the track on there. They, they did have a few good games, like even with the Twilight Princess remastered. That was amazing with the gamepad. I loved not having to open up an inventory screen. So, yeah, Wind Waker too. Yeah, yeah I mean it had that. its benefits. It was just it was too bad that well, it was yeah. so limiting. Yeah, and it, I mean it's like Chadley said. I mean I could see I could see developers being like, well. I don't have any, like, this game doesn't necessarily have a good way, a good, interesting and innovative way to use the gamepad while I want to be able to allow them to use a controller or, even, you know, anything like that. Yeah, I can see that. that. That does make sense. It, it forces developers to basically come up with a new IP. Yeah. Because, yeah. like, existing IPs, like, they're already established. You already know how the games play. Why should they try to change a game that's making... That has a big fan base. You mm -hmm. like plays a certain way. Now you have to change how it plays just to make it work with this controller. So mm -hmm. it's like, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, for no, sure, I think I think sure. they've 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 opened up a lot more. And one of the other things that I think was a bit of a flaw with the Wii U, which the Switch looked like it was going to be a flaw, but now we're in a in a place where it isn't. Um, the, having older generation graphics where like the Wii U wasn't really up to par with what was out there. Um, yeah. And then now it's like the Switch isn't up to par with the, the PlayStation or the Xbox, but the changes are so subtle now that it doesn't really affect the gameplay like it used to. It's not like N64 to PlayStation 2 where it was, it was a huge leap. Now the yeah. graphics are, aren't really, like it's resolution a lot of it. Like it's not a huge, huge leap forward. So yeah. when people are always like, oh, well, it, you know, it's not as beautiful as the Xbox One X, it's like, but it's not that horrible either. It's still playable. Exactly. I mean, exactly. just take Zelda, for example. Yeah, you look at Breath of the Wild. play that yeah. on an Xbox One X, Breath of the Wild on an Xbox One X, it would be like, I would drool the entire game, probably. 
Mm-hmm. But <laughs> we all know Nintendo doesn't really always go up to with graphics. They more mm-hmm. go for enjoyment in the games that they yeah. create. Yeah. And yeah. that is something that has been lacking a lot in hugely beautiful games, I think. They, they're they not as fun to play as most Nintendo games, even though they do look worse. Mm-hmm. But yeah, that's just yeah. my thoughts, So That's just how I feel. And yeah, I don't care what they say. I'm still Nintendo over Xbox. Yeah. <laughs> I have all three of them and I'm I'm like I don't hate my Xbox by any means, but I'm just not nearly as um like engaged, you know, like I'm not I don't want to play mm-hmm. it just nearly as much as I want to play like my Switch. Um mm-hmm. exactly. Yeah. So, yeah, oh, I mean no, exactly. I, I love the Xbox. I, I love my Xbox. I think they're making all the mistakes Nintendo made in the past, and it's really too bad because it's one of those things where it's like it may not be as powerful as the PlayStation, but it's too bad that that Xbox has dropped the ball on it because it could have been a wonderful system, and it still has a chance of kind of making up for it a bit. But it's it's too bad. It's really too bad. <laughs> I mean, Microsoft pretty much said it at E3. They they made that little teaser saying we're working on systems. Mm-hmm. So it's yeah. like. They're telling you basically that, like, okay, we've given up on the Xbox. We're moving on to the next big thing, getting you guys interested in whatever we're going to be doing in the near future. Mm-hmm. And yeah. and sorry, but not sorry. Yeah, but it's still plays like, best on Xbox. <laughs> yeah, it still plays best on Xbox. I used to work with Microsoft as a company and Xbox when they're just going to give us a PC. Mm-hmm. Like this yeah. is their new Xbox. Yeah. It's a PC. Hey, so speaking of of not Nintendo, real quick, just I'm gonna throw this out there. If, if we got any like uh, Call of Duty, fans, um, Black Ops Three on PlayStation Four is free currently. If you grab it now, anytime now, between now and the 11th of July. Hashtag not sponsored. Um, well, no, but it's just one of those. It was an E3 deal. It was an E3, so I mean, I I grabbed it just because Megan, li- Megan likes not? Call of Duty, so we played a bunch of that in the last couple of days. Um, but it's like free. shooting you. She. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was like it was like For Honor. I grabbed For Honor because it was free. Oh yeah, yeah I need to grab that too. I think it's, it should still be free, right? I think oh, it's that's like that's right? you, you play. Yeah. Yeah, I got grabbed it still too. I yeah, I grabbed it. I downloaded it. I played a little bit. It's okay, but uh, free, so I'm okay with it. <laughs> free oh, play. and I say free. You have to have PS Plus. Oh yeah, that PS Plus. Because For Honor though, For Honor's free. Just well, on For Honor is totally free on PC, but you just go. If, Paul is asking, but if you you just gotta go on on the PlayStation Four, on the PC, or on your PlayStation itself, type in Call of Duty, Black Ops Three, or whatever, and it'll be free if you've got PS Plus, and just download it, and then it's in your library forever. Uh, well, so long, probably so long as you have PS Plus, just like the other stuff, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But exactly. I mean, it's free. So there's one more game that I missed though, and I know it's from EA, which is like, <laughs> but it's also from Bioware, and that it was Dragon Age Four. Wait, they announced oh, Dragon really? Age. They announced Dragon Four. No, no, no. no, they did not. Oh, oh that's the problem. <laughs> that is the point. I had hoped for something because there, there has been a lot of leaks lately around Dragon Age. Like, come on, don't disappoint no, no. me. But of course, they disappoint me. Of okay, course. So. <laughs> they mentioned they mentioned one thing, but it was like the presentation, or at least was like when and that was that star wars jedi fallen order or something oh yeah how they brought that out i was like yeah you know it's funny you should mention that because i was doing a little research on the story of what they're going to be using on that and here's the thing george lucas made a lot of projects before he sold star wars to disney and one of those projects was going to be an expansion on the star wars series talking about these creatures that feed off of the force. Oh, the will. It's like interesting. this dire thing, and I almost felt like they're going to try and go with that because that's not actually owned by Disney. They can end up doing that a little bit cheaper. Oh, so yeah. I kind of want to see how that goes. That'd be cool. Yeah. There we go. That would be <laughs> something. But s- since the title said Jedi Fallen Order, which is between episode three and four, as yes. Yeah. I'm like, okay, so you're probably some Jedi Padawan who escaped the massacre. Six and uh, you're getting hunted down by the Inquisitors who got introduced in Rebels in the TV show. And yeah, just don't die. 
Maybe something <laughs> like that. I don't know. <laughs> that was great. Well, guys, um, I think we've been doing it for two hours. I think it's good. Uh, the conversation was definitely up there. Uh, I think we can all say that overall, we enjoyed what we saw. With, yeah, what, uh, what would you guys E3 rank E3? What would you guys oh. rank this overall E3 experience for this year? Over, yeah, overall. I personally, I think out of 10, I think I would probably go with like a 7 or 8. I was very excited over eight. everything. Yeah, I mean, not everything, but like as an overall thing, it, it excited me. There's a lot of really good stuff. There's a ton of stuff that we did not mention. Like I made a much larger list than the list that I sent you, Rigo. But yeah. for the sake of time and whatnot, obviously, mm-hmm. uh, there, I mean, we could, there's no way. But I mean... <laughs> There's so many things. You know, can I touch on one more thing real quick, by the way? One more game. Anthem. Oh, Anthem. Oh, no, no more. No, look at <laughs> Louis. <laughs> <laughs> that was no. Well, anyway, that's cool. We don't have to. I just, that was just another one. But it was, like I said, I, I, that was a great overall. Can uh, somebody make that sponsor. in a sponsor emoji for Louis, please? I know. But yeah, for me, eight. Eight. I, I would yeah, say eight. I would I would say an eight for sure. Yeah, I would say eight. a seven as well. But I do want to, I forgot to mention this, and I apologize. There is one game I wanted to talk about that was not shown any love at E three, and that is the new Walking Dead series. That's oh, 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 that's oh, right. No, yes. Yes. It, it looks really series? cool. <laughs> <laughs> it yeah, looks really cool. Series. It looks so good. I heard that it's supposed to be because I I don't know if they had a demo on the floor or something, but it's supposed to be. Like Walking Dead meets Left for Dead, so right. it's supposed to be like team based, like craziness. So uh, that got me hooked. I was like, I need to try this game. It looks. I cool. uh, I can't wait, and I'm really disappointed they didn't have any information on it. I know. <laughs> but yeah, that's all I have to say. <laughs> but yeah, I, I, I give it like an, an eight. An eight, definitely. I think a lot of people give it way less than it deserves because they overhype themselves. Yes, they that's the big thing. A lot of people, like in chat, are saying that. You know, six because it lacked things or this and that. But I, I think we should more judge it on what they did show because they showed exactly. a lot of stuff. They did. I mean, they it's did ridiculous show. how much stuff they showed. And 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 I gotta say, at least in my opinion, this was one of the least cringy E3s that they've had because they didn't <laughs> have so many ridiculous, you know, laser tag fighting in the middle of the thing or Ridge Racer. <laughs> like there was a lot less yeah, of that. Sure. Do I need to bring up Rage Two again? <laughs> I was going to say, but that's not Rage 2. <laughs> but overall, I think it was less cringy than a lot of their stuff because they weren't trying so much to hype everybody up. They just let the hype kind of go on its own for yeah. the most part. Right. Well, that it's is almost, it's almost like Bethesda didn't get a memo about the cringiness. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they're like, that's we're not game. doing that this year. And then Bethesda is just like, oh. We, 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 saw didn't, we didn't know. Too. <laughs> they're saying not, but I think it's yeah. opposite day, guys. Yeah. <laughs> I kind of overdid it with Just Dance intro. I, it was fun, but it wasn't for Just Dance. Yeah, uh, just Dance has gotten just like any other EA Just game Dance is coming out on the Wii, guys. By the way, in case y'all didn't yeah. hear that. Exactly. The actual um, Wii. <laughs> what was I going to say? What about you, Chad? What do you rate it, buddy? Uh, I'd say around the same as you guys, seven, seven point five ish. Like the. It's, it's, it's a shame because I, I'm not as knowledgeable about Xbox and PlayStation and stuff because I don't play that very often. Mm-hmm. Um, but I, I did try to watch a little bit of everything. Um, and there there were some games, like, if the gameplay is anything like they showed for, uh, what was it, Last of Us 2? Like, mm-hmm. if that's actual gameplay, that game right there would probably make me get a PlayStation. Mm-hmm. Just Boom. because that game looks amazing. Yeah. And, like, yeah. and and... I did watch a little bit of gameplay of the first game, and and the first game was looks really fun too. So if if the fun factor, I guess, and the story and everything is is in that second game, like that would probably make me buy a PlayStation. Well, start saving up because I think you will. Because the first one, <laughs> one is great. The second one's gonna be one of our Emperor one Palpatine. Oh God! Do it. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Crispy and his many many impressions. There you go. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, what do we, what do we say? Let's go on a. We got like thirty something people watching. Let's go on a raid. Let's raid Yo, someone. Let's go on a raid. Let's do it. Let's go on a raid. Um, I hope everybody enjoyed what you guys saw. Guys, once a month we will be doing this. The regulars who are going to be on this show is going to be myself, Mr. Chadley, 
CC Gaming and Retro for the first time. We're gonna have we're gonna try to have two guests at a time for um for every month. Uh, it's gonna be different things. We'll probably end up talking about Nintendo all the time, but it's gonna be different things. <laughs> Fortnite all the time. What? <laughs> um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, don't forget in the description below is everybody's uh, channel. Go check them out. Go give them a like. Go go give them a sub. And also, you can join my Facebook, my Discord. It's all in the description below. We're gonna go on a raid now. Um, so don't anybody leave. Yeah, Let's not see. yet. Not yet. Not yet. You can't leave. You can't leave. Jeez, he promotes his we Discord. Talked a lot about Fortnite. What about Fortnite? <laughs> we talked a lot about Fortnite. Yeah, we did. Fortnite? No, Which, I'm I, saying, I gotta say it. Keep somebody who's playing Fortnite to raid them. Oh. Uh, let's well, go Phil. ahead. Phil's let's, do, let's do Phil. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was thinking. I'm getting a funny, He's a funny border Fortnite. here. I hope you guys don't mind. Yeah, it. I see that. It's so um, weird. Okay, how let me. What are we? Taco Cast raid or something? Or yeah, we're gonna do Taco, taco Cast raid. So hashtag. Taco Cast Raid. So let me give you the links. There you go. So let's go ahead, guys. Taco Cast Raid. Let's do it. Yeah. Taco Cast Raid. Taco Cast Raid. There it is. Guys! There he is. Oh no! Epic <laughs> I was like, I don't know who this guy is, but I'm something. Tash King, Steffi Chadley. Did we raid him last month? Sir Nigel. Uh, I feel like we raided him for this podcast last time. Maybe. Was it? Cassidy, was it him last time? I can't. I don't know. Indiana. I don't think but we did. Guys, this is the last game. We're gonna have to go raid somebody else. This is the last game. <laughs> <laughs> it's the last game. <laughs> oh, well, he still got some love anyway. He, he still got some love. All right, guys. Uh, thank you guys very much, everybody, for so joining us. Let me just close this window quickly Demi. so you guys can see. Bye, everyone. Thank you, everybody. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope everybody enjoyed it. Guys, thank you, uh, Epic and Crispy, for joining us on this um, podcast. I really, really, Crispy's really... Crispy's about to go crash. I know, geez. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's what, 4 o'clock in the morning? wide awake. That's no, later than that. <laughs> it, I think I'm not going to Five thirty. Yeah, five thirty. Uh, just jump on oh Fortnite. My God. There we go. <laughs> oh, wow. Guys, thank you all for joining us tonight. Take care. Have a good Bye. one, and don't forget the most important thing in the whole wide world. Bye, guys. Come to my last stream. Bye. Bye. Bye, guys. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye. Guys. Bye. <laughs> Bye. That was great.